bad that they left you a bad review. They were, like, feeling bad for themselves that they had to write it. Like, that's how it was worded to me. Yeah, and they also word it as if, oh, she was nice and lovely, but we wish we would have done something else. How was that my fault? Right. Oh, she was really great, but, like, it would have been really amazing if she... If we would have decided on something else, our own selves, and if we would have communicated things better. She's a- she's just a bitch, that's what I get. <laughs> what a fucking bitch. Cause I messaged bitch. her. Cause I messaged her and I was like, I've never had anyone tell me they're unsatisfied like this before. Like, I've had one other person not be fully satisfied, but she still enjoyed some of the pictures, but this girl was saying they could only use one. And I was like, I'd like to make you satisfied, so, you know, I can be satisfied. You're like, you're like rubbing your hands together, you're like, I can satisfy you, baby, what you need? I was trying to hint to her, like, take the review down if I make you happy. And then she basically <laughs> was Can they take like, it down? I, I'm pretty sure she, so she has the ability to take it down. Okay, I didn't know if people could or like change it or I don't know. I I think I think they can, but I'm gonna talk to Thumbtack about like, I mean that one can stay up. It's really not a bad review technically. It's just messing with my rating. Uh, the one that I want deleted is the accidental one that just says K. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was funny. I feel like that's what I said. I was like I feel like. Uh, okay. Um, I feel like. Thumbtack was like, hey, do you want to leave a review? And maybe she just, like, didn't think about what it was going to actually have on it. Or, like, if she didn't think if she wrote anything, it would show up on the page. Because I can't imagine why you would just write K on a review unless you were, like, Thumbtack was like, do you want to leave a review? And she was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, why else would you just be like, K? I, I don't know, but Thumbtack does say somewhere on their website that you can contact them for a, um, what's it called? For a review, uh, a review, review. A, re a review, yeah, a review of the review, and they'll take it down if it meets, like, correct standards of, like, ridiculousness, so. <laughs> You're like, hey, I got this review that literally just fucking says, hey? Just yeah. wondering if there's anything we could do about it? And I tried to contact her, and she never replied. Huh. And she, she got what she needed off the thumbtack, and she was like, I'm gone, girl. I'm fucking gone, girl. This is the same woman who called and texted me and emailed me all in five minutes and just didn't answer her because she thought she was being scammed. So I know she saw that message. You know that she's fucking saw it, dude. She checks her email like a wild animal. Well, I guess you can't win them all. Yeah, Nate was like, oh, well, we're getting bigger, so this is what happens. You know, chances of someone right. being satisfied are getting higher, and I'm like, yeah. Oh, so it's it. like, I'm whatever, eight. one fucking person. Yeah, I'm 4.9 out of 5 stars. Same thing, round up, 5 stars. That happened to me in my Etsy store, though. <laughs> Somebody, oh my god, this one made me so mad. Because, like, all my reviews have 5 stars, and then she... Never messaged me, because everything I sell is digital files, so never messaged me, never said she had any issues with anything. Just left like a scathing review. She's like, these are the worst ones I've ever found. They just look like they were cut out of a white background. And I like wanted to be mean in my response, but I literally was like, hi, I'm so sorry that you, that you are having difficulty using these. Like, had you brought this up to me, I would have definitely looked into it because no one's ever brought it up to me before. However, just so you know, when you are buying these PNG digital files online, they are being cut out from a white background. So that is what you're going to get, no matter what. <laughs> like, like that, that's, that's what a transparent PNG really is. Like, it probably started yeah. on something else. Because like hand-painted things don't get painted on a transparent background. I just was like, cracking so up. <laughs> so I'm like, so, okay, I get it. You're just dumb. You're just an idiot. I feel like ignorance is 
calling someone. I know people. <laughs> I was gonna say, way. I feel like ignorance is bliss for these people. I feel like calling someone ignorant just means that they're not super um, in touch with a certain subject. Right, when exactly. When you call someone ignorant, they think that you are calling them the dumbest motherfucker on the planet. I know. Like, do you, <laughs> do you just not like, know what ignorant means? <laughs> but I guess when, when that woman called me ignorant, I did kind of go into a fit of rage, so... I get it. Well, that's the thing. She's just telling you that you're ignorant in your, like, um, like, not profession, but in your But, I mean, that's offensive. I mean, in my profession, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is my profession. If someone were to call me ignorant in something I'm not super aware of, I get that. But if someone were to call me ignorant in, like, something to doing with something I do every day, I'd be like, okay, like, that's offensive. To me, right. personally. <laughs> that is offensive to me, personally, but um, we're gonna move on from this. But I would never, ever get offended if someone called me ignorant about, like, I don't know. I don't Space know, about, like, travel. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm aware that I'm ignorant. I don't care that you're calling me ignorant, but if you were to call an everyday person ignorant about something they're not super uh, uh, well aware of, they'd be like, <gasps> <laughs> right. They would cry themselves to sleep for 40 days. Maybe because we're mature. I think it's maybe not even necessarily maturity. It's just like this... I don't know. I think about this a lot. Like this idea that we're not so... Hmm. Let me, I guess I don't know how to word it. But we're, like we're not people that are so stuck in who we are and like... I know who I am and that's not changing. Like, if somebody tells me something or if I'm wrong, like, I'm like, okay, but if I if I am in the wrong or if I did not know about that thing, I'm always like, oh, right, sick. Like, we're, our ego isn't attached, you know, yeah. to only what <laughs> okay, but... we know. Yeah, I don't really attach ego that much. I mean, if I'm on a hot streak. <laughs> I'm on a hot streak. With my photography, then sometimes I get a little bit of an ego because then I'm like, oh yeah, this is so good. I'm You're so like, good. yeah, I am a bad bitch. And then I immediately will fall into, well, I'm not that good. Why do these people hire me? Oh my god, they're gonna hate their pictures. Oh my god. So it's kind of like a. I don't know. I. I, I No, I don't- I feel like my friends really don't because I just can't bear to be around people like that. Like, people who are so obsessed with themselves. I can't do that. Maybe it's from hanging out with rock stars all the time, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Every rock star in my life is a very kind and lovely person. Are we live yet? Yeah, we've been live. For oh, nine, okay. nine minutes. Why is it- why is the ad breaks, like, breaking out? Mm -hmm. Some of these pictures of these dudes, I'm like, I'm about to send them to them and be like, well, so what are you guys? You guys are looking kind of romantic up there. <laughs> so what are you guys? <laughs> Connor just texted me, I watch you on Twitch, but I can't- <laughs> I can't figure out my login, so I can't comment. <laughs> Oh my god, hi Connor. I'm still so hurt you didn't make it to Five Nights at Freddy's, bro. It was such a it was such a night to remember. Was Connor there? Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't know Connor went. Yeah, I kinda we I kind of invited him a little last not last minute, but a little later than we made the plans, and then like the day before I texted everybody and I was like, Oh yeah, Connor's going. <laughs> I tell you our Edie was supposed to go too. She bought a ticket and everything and then she forgot. I'm like, these photos all feel kind of similar. But yeah, in Boston, having some Halloween Boston stuff. Some Boston stuff. I love the Boston accent. Josh's mom is so funny. Yeah. The Boston accent. We like to bust each other's balls back there. <laughs> <laughs> I do I love a good. Boston. I do love a good East Coast dialect. Katie, are you watching the stream? I have to ask you a question. 
No, I'm not liking it. How do I do that again? Uh, I just do you have it. text on your phone? Or on your computer, I mean? Like, do iMessages come I to your computer? Out. Yeah, my iMessages come to my computer. Okay, I'm just gonna text you the link and then you can just click it on your computer. I just have to ask your opinion. If Connor could log in and not be a fake ass bitch, <laughs> I would ask him too. I can't decide, Connor, if I want these to be like this icy white color if they look better kind of warm. I feel like warm makes it look like a bigger scene, but the ice whites kind of goes hard too. I don't know. I'm hungry. Somebody give me more food. <laughs> Somebody feed me, please. I'm sick of doing it myself. Ooh, this is a really cool picture. Oh. Thank you. I actually, I can't, I mean, listen, I know we're talking about egos. I can't lie, there's some fire flames from this set. They finally got, not finally, but they got a light designer for this tour. Definitely worth the price. There's a couple that I'm like really hyped about. Yeah, I was gonna say the light came crazy with the star filter too. Mm -hmm. It looks spicy. It looks spicy, bro. Why can't I find the one photo I want to show you? Also, I just feel happy that I can get on stage because drummers never get good photos. So I'm like, that's true. Poor drummers. <laughs> I think I showed you this one. <laughs> Mark just kept, he flipped me off for so long. So I just started flipping him off back. <laughs> Why was he doing that? Because he was, he, these guys were the people who I was on the road with with the other band last year. So I know these guys, so I think he was just like fucking around because he was like singing, getting good pictures for a while. And then he just kept picking, flipping me up. I'm like, bro, we're friends. I'm like, you're ruining the good pictures that you want. Sorry. I really like this one, even though he looks crazy. I just love how his hair looks crazy. Oh, this no, one's that's sick. Cute. This one I really like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit a lot of them, bro. I'm, I, they're gonna get a lot of pictures from this. Those, that light design like blew me away. Honestly, I was, I was like, please tell your light designer. You're making me want to take pictures of rock stars. Oh my god. It's fun, dude. It's the most fun I've ever have with my camera. I'm serious. Connor said I have arrived. <laughs> oh, welcome, Connor. Welcome to the chat. I don't know why I just responded to you in the chat. <laughs> I was like, what's up, my brother? What's wrong with that? Am I mentally unwell? Okay. Yeah, so I'm sick because it didn't import all of the photos. Wait, it, it did. 321? There's no way. You sound like a quesadilla. Hmm. Thanks. I love quesadillas. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'm like, am I being bullied? I know I don't know the difference. That's why my feelings don't get hurt. So I'm like, is somebody bullying me? I love quesadillas. So. Hey, speaking of drummers, why can I can raise them? Yeah, I do. Uh, when I went on my telecom oh, yeah. last night, um, hi, they were doing Sion. A live. Thanks for being here. I like your emo your emotes. Are those yours? Sorry, Kitty. Pop off. Oh my god, that's so cute. Is that a monster? Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's like a little devil, little devil guy with, uh, here's mine. I forgot I have emotes. I'm like, I forgot. I spent all this time to make these goddamn emotes. Anyway, sorry, Queen. You were popping off, Butter Drummer. Oh, um, last night I went on my Peloton and it said that I could join a live class. Oh, man, live did you do it? No, I didn't because... I couldn't stop laughing. The live class was a lady teaching, like a live cycling class with Travis Barker. <laughs> Wait, what? You should have joined. That would have been sick. That's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Pelotoning with Travis Barker? I wanted to, but I was laughing so hard. I was just like, what is this? I couldn't do it. I would have just laughed the whole time with Travis Barker just drumming in the background. I would have loved it. I would have been hyped. I was like, this is really cool and I would love to join, but not at this time. 
but not at this time. <laughs> not for me today. Hey, good to see you. How are the edits? Maple, thanks for being here. Your Discord server is so cool. Everybody's so cool and like does cool stuff and they know stuff about everything. Thanks for inviting us to it. I don't know if Katie's gotten a chance to hang out in there at all, but everyone's so nice. So thanks for building that community and letting me be a part of it. Wasn't I invited uh, last stream? Yeah, I just didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know if you have spent any like time like looking at what other people do in there or like chatting with anybody. Uh, no, I only go online when we're on. <laughs> 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 I haven't looked at it, um, but I should. That is funny. I just like hate the color of blue lights. I'm gonna show you out now if there if you haven't already. Oh, I didn't. I never do that because I always feel bad and weird if I'm like, hey, look it, my name's Jed. That's, <laughs> Yikes, that's a really cool picture. Thank you. Um, thanks, Maple. That'd be great. The edits are going well. I just just kind of started them. I imported everything yesterday, and then my computer was being a little dingus. So then I was like, you know what? I have to go to this housewarming party in four hours anyway, so I can't edit right now. <laughs> Let's see. Really? Yeah, so I went to 80's house yesterday for a housewarming party because Matt moved in, which is her sister's boyfriend, who is also my old manager from the restaurant I worked at. Which is so funny to think about now. <laughs> but I've been there. This is a shot. Thanks, Rumpelstilts. Cam, thanks for being here. I don't know why every time I try to say your name, like, this always happens and I stutter over it. But... Thanks for being here. How are you? How's life? What you been working on? Um, but yeah, so Matt moved in two months ago, and I've been there like 40 times since Matt moved in, but he was having a housewarming party because like all of his other friends hadn't been to the house yet. And I felt bad. I was like, I'm such a culprit of not showing up that I can't not show up again. Oh yeah, I don't like being invited somewhere because I'm... <laughs> I just feel so bad. It seems really bright, but I think I can probably prevent from I just that. don't like to let people down, so I wanna I, I want people to be aware that when you invite me somewhere, the odds of me showing up. Mm. Ooh, you shot the Flatliners Gob and Wilhelm Scream on Friday. That's epic. Did you have a good time? Was it like a I guess it probably wasn't a festival if you were if it was three. Was there like two openers and a headliner then? Make his hair blue. I don't think I can make his hair blue. I can make him all blue. Ew, I just hate how Ugh, I hate how concert clothes look blue. That makes me sick. That's a personal preference. If you download Lenza, you can make his hair blue. <laughs> I'm not downloading Lenza. I got a whole ass YouTube video about how that's like a crazy, crazy app. Very scary. Yeah. I still use it. <laughs> It is fun. It is fun. And I get why people are using it. I'm not hating on anybody for using it. I feel like I remember having, like, I think we had conversations about this because I. Everybody I saw talking about the Lenza thing was, like, bitching about the wrong reason. Like, they were mad at the people using it, not that this thing and this company exists and this is how they're running it. And I was like, don't be mad because, so, again, some innocently ignorant person doesn't understand what this is and what it's doing and what it's doing to the photography industry or whatever. Flatliners headlining God was a nostalgia hit for me going back 20 years to high school. So that must have been epic. Did they play any of the hits you enjoyed from back then? Yeah, they're light design, dude. Slayed. Oh. oh me oh my. I don't know why, but it hurts. I gotta try and disperse it. I did not like it at first. I get a lot of my nerves. Did you see Nicki Minaj put out a new album yesterday? Listen, yes I did. <laughs> I haven't listened to it. Actually, that's what we're listening to on stream. Live React, I haven't listened to it yet. I have a very funny story to tell that ties in with the fact that Nikki just dropped a new album, okay? Okay, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm, I'm admitting to how stupid I am in telling you guys this. Hell yeah. We love, we so, love moments when Katie's a dingus. 
I had I am very oblivious to rap. I did not know she was releasing an album, okay? No wait, idea. Wait, wait, wait. First song on the album? First track on the record samples Billy Eilish? Am mm-hmm. I insane? Wait. Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? Wait, 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 wait. I'm so happy I'm doing this on stream. I'm hyped for this now. This is sick. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. It was a little too high pitched for too long for me, but I, I thought it was really cool. Yeah, I do. I mean, I hear this vocal distortion happen in here, but I'm so into it. The last few songs that had the big hits out, I got my first three of four flatliners and got out of there. <laughs> you said, I got my ass out of there. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. Do you shoot a lot of shows then? Okay, Katie, I'm sorry. You can tell your story, but I'm, like, really hyped to listen to this record now. Um, I didn't- I didn't like the album at all. Oh, you didn't like it? Okay, so maybe it's like not good then. Music. That's true. I don't I like need... rap. There is a song. I love Nicki Minaj. I love her voice. And there's a song that she did with Lil Wayne called Dark Side of the Moon. Are you listening? You're not listening to the stream, right, Katie? Because then you'd be hearing me, too. No, I'm not listening to yeah. the stream. I'm just wa- watching it. I'm like, well, I'm gonna take a quick detour because this song is called Dark Side of the Moon. It's on Carter Five, Lil Wayne's record, and Nicki Minaj's voice sounds so good in it that it like changed my feelings about her entirely as like a musician. Yeah, I I, I love Nicki Minaj. I just don't know. I also have a weird love for Lil Wayne. Like, I don't know why, but I just am like, I love him. I love him. But not in like, right, that must be. I'm, not, I'm like, not even in a way of like, oh my god, I love him. It's more of just like, I just want to give him a hug, you know? <laughs> he seems like he just might need one. Right, I'm like, he just seems like he might need one. I'm gonna tell my story now. You have the floor. It's just really funny when you think about it. So, I, uh, like I said, I had no idea this album was coming out in my um, my in my family group chat. Sam Smick, um, you you know who she is. Yeah, yeah. Um, you just out in her first and last name. You're like, this bitch. <laughs> I, no one's gonna know. Who cares? I am um, right now. I'm hacking into her <laughs> Facebook account. She um. She texts the group chat and says, "How is everybody enjoying um, Gag City?" What's that? And I was like, "She goes, I hope everybody's having a great Pink Friday." And I was like, "Oh, uh, I was like Gag City. What?" I was like, "What's that?" <laughs> so she wouldn't tell me. And then she finally like, "Connor, you're fine. I just didn't want to interrupt Katie's story by responding to you yet." <laughs> um. She goes, me and Emily are at Gag City right now, and sends a picture of the pink lemonade, uh, supercharged, whatever, from Panera. Oh! So, in my head, I'm thinking, Gag City is Panera. <laughs> I thought that Panera had just released um, the, the pink lemonade version of their charged lemonade on that Friday, and that's why they were calling it Gag City, because people have been dying from it. That would be funny as fuck if and Panera just I leaned into that branding. <laughs> so we have, in the group chat, we've just, I'm just like, I can't believe I thought Gag City was Panera. <laughs> I can't believe it either, honestly. But it Connor, was, I it have was, seen, I think, part of that, I think I have seen part of that interview. And he has a really good song about all of that, also on the Carter Five, called Let It All Work Out. Very, very good. Everybody can hear you mangled, thank you. Oops, nope, nope, nope. Okay, we're going to Barbie Dangerous. Let's see song two on Nicki Minaj's new record. Let's see if it's... Bobby. Let's see if it's... (laughs) Bobby. (laughs) (laughs) You sound like, you sound like Linda from Bob's Burgers. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay, I hear you, Nikki. 
Give me something, baby girl. Give me something. The beats are nice. My childhood bestie is really into rap and stuff, and she didn't like the album. Damn. I feel like if she don't like it, I'm pretty, I mean, I guess I can't say I'm really into rap, but I definitely do enjoy rap music. But now that I think about it, I guess I, can, I can't say I've ever, like, sat and enjoyed an entire Nicki Minaj record before. True. Like, it's always been, you know, like, it's always been like, oh, this super bass is a banger, you know? <laughs> like... <laughs> I, I I love I will say I love uh, pound the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I cannot deny I love pound the alarm. Dropped out to from in, but death post in the Discord. We get pumped when people promo their photo streams. Oh my God! I will. Did you do it already? I don't want to do it twice. I don't want to be a nut job. This is kind of sick. My friend David from the UK might hop into the voice chat katie he's really cool he's way chiller than the other friend <laughs> I, it's nice uh it's nice though twitch updates stream edits i'm like looking through all your channels maple to make sure oh nice i was like i'm like trained by reddit i'm always worried about putting something in the wrong channel and then somebody being like get out of here get out of my life you know that's how I feel on Reddit when I do something wrong, and they're like, we've removed your post because you're a stupid fucking idiot. And I'm like, okay, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Yo, hey, what's up, today? David? What's up? <laughs> your voice compared to ours is so funny. <laughs> what song did you say, Katie? <laughs> Baba Boom. <laughs> I don't even know if I know that song. What? That's one of her hits, man. I feel like the beats on this record are really cool. But I'm not like yeah. the Billie Eilish thing is what kind of sent me. Ever since then, I've kind of been like, okay. I tell them that I'm the sleaze, and they tell me, okay, prove it. Go crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm I was listening to the new Nicki Minaj album, but I don't know if I can get through it. Now we're listening to Va Va Boom because I don't know if I know this one. That's a classic. I definitely feel like I've heard it. Justin Boy does not work. The old Nikki mix, her voice is so funny. Okay, appreciate that. Trying to keep it organized, but it's also not a perfect system yet. I mean, it's really organized compared to mine. Mine's just like. Do whatever you want, whenever you want to. <laughs> but don't do weird shit. Those are my rules. Don't do weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Be nice to me, be nice to yourself, be nice to each other. It's all the rules. I kind of forgot about Nikki. Not like actually, but. I think she took a long break because of having right. a baby. I was gonna say, but when was the last time she released a full album? Oh, 2022? And 2020? 2021? And 2018? I'm insane. I was like, the last time... Uh, maybe it's a live album. I'm like looking at it on... Queen Radio, Volume 1. Yeah. You listen to the new... I was, but then I got bored in the third song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. David, what was your Spotify rap top listen to artist? Like, a look. <laughs> <laughs> Playboy Cotty. What were you oh. Mine was weird, okay? I don't believe mine was correct, okay? I'm just like, how do I find it? Playlist. Yeah, how do you look again? Where's my Spotify rap for 2023? How do I use this computer? Your top songs, 2023. So my most listened to artist on Spotify is a YouTube producer that I like. Oh. And I can't believe it. Yeah, it's Kyle Beats Collective. And I could not believe that that was true and real. I'm like, I don't think that that's real. It's true and real. Right, I'm I guess sure. it is. 
Uh, it doesn't show you? I didn't see. You know where you would might just come up with it. Hmm. Maybe they didn't do it for you in the UK. That's what you get for beating British. Oh, that's some food. <laughs> that was an amazing <laughs> <laughs> Rumpel and Maple, do you guys know each other in real life? Are you just internet homies like we are? Chubbyrpikas, Ken Carson. Ken Carson, we've met. Oh, y'all, Ken Carson, I believe it. You guys go fucking nutty for that, dude. Um, Carson, I don't believe... Who's Carson? The we band member? No, 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 he said Ken Carson. Oh. We met our recently at a deathcore show. That's so nice. Were you guys both shooting it? Did you like meet in the pit? Was it really like cinematic moment? Certified besties. Oh my gosh, I was at this dirty honey show shooting it, obviously, Katie and David, you're in here too. And all of you. I don't know why I did that just now. Um <laughs> But there's a fan that's such a- she's a huge fan of the other band I work with. And she was right in the front row for this one too. It was so funny to just see her- like every re every show I'm shooting, like she's there. It's crazy to see how dedicated she is to like going to these shows. How do people like that afford it? Think about that too. Okay, I need your guys' opinion. These photos are both really similar. Do we like this open more without the stars coming on either side of him or the stars on either side of him? I feel like you see slightly less guitar. Mm, I like that one. I also feel like his face looks a little bit maybe better on this one, but I, actually that's pretty much the same. Ugh, I just am thinking about editing this and it being a... You like the star like one? Mm -hmm, I like that one. Sick. I like more guitar, Jack. More guitar. The composition is much better in this one. Let him know. The lights bring you in. You're right. I always just worry about giving like, cause I you'll, like I use a lot of the filters and stuff when I shoot shows, so I just never want them to be like, oh my god, all of these are. You're using a filter on your lens for all of these. Not that anyone literally has ever brought that up or said that to me ever I'm once. I would be like, listen, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm like, do you it like the pretty pictures or not, bitch? It would be boring if you didn't, you know? It would just be flat light behind you and behind them. Right, that's like always my thing. I'm like, if the, the filters make the stage look so much bigger sometimes. It makes it feel like a much bigger affair. Yeah, I never thought about that. You're right. It's a very smart after thing. Sh I'm like, after shooting like 110 shows last year, I learned that shit because we were in so many venues that had just like no lighting or they just didn't care to light the stage actually. Hey Tom. Hi Tom Vault. I like your, your girly. It's a lot of people watching, eh? Is there? I don't know. I turned my viewer count off. I don't know. I just keep seeing new names in the chat and I'm like, okay. I'm just happy to be here. I'm just I'm just happy to get myself to stream when I do it. Like <laughs> I'm just happy to be involved. What's up? Not much. Just editing some pics from a show I shot the other night. I don't know why. I didn't drink. There's people here. Yes, photo elite. Thanks for being here. How are you? How's life? What have you been working on? Just flip to using frames to post to social media and seeing a few more interactions with. I just flipped to using frames to post to- okay, okay. You think that like- so you mean like the frame like a border, like a white or black border around it, or am I crazy? <laughs> I'm like, am I stupid? I don't know. You're not stupid, I just called you a very smart lady. Very smart lady? David, are you still here? Did you leave? Oh, just quiet. <laughs> I didn't mean to have an accent on that. It just came out like Oh, that. David's so used to it. Every time I talk to them, I'm like, Oi, mate! How are you? Oh, I miss <laughs> you guys so much! <laughs> hip, hip! I, just, I never try to do an accent unless I'm doing a gnar thing. Oh! Things I... just come out weird. <laughs> yeah, you always- the gnar thing, you make such a point of, like, really hitting that home, too. I love it. 
having two, three picks in one, that is actually sick. So have you noticed that people have been like interacting with it more? Because I've seen posts like that and I always think that they look really good, but I just, I don't shoot horizontal very often. Um, what do I want to do here? I think I need to change. Why is this like this? I don't want, I don't like this. Okay, I guess it's fine. Um, this is very basic of me to bring it up, but, um, Brandon Vogel has, like, one of the biggest photography followings on the internet, and he mainly shoots horizontal, which is so crazy to me. That's true. He has a massive following. He kind of popped off, I feel like, on the internet, like, shit first before all of the other people we know now like for photography stuff at least what i saw first yeah i do so much of those stack right. of three photos tom drop your instagram in the, if anybody if any of you guys want to drop your instagrams in the chat i would love to look at what you've been posting recently i'm so bad and if you're comfortable with me showing it on stream of course but i have been so bad this year about posting on instagram katie knows she's she's honestly even been telling me that i've been doing a bad job because i need to hear it what have I told you you do a bad job of? Posting on Instagram this year. Or oh, post oh posting God. literally anything ever. <laughs> You've had so many good things to post. Especially from Puerto Rico. I was like, bro. I know. After spending that year, like, I don't know. After spending the year on the road last year and just seeing how, like, not seeing, but just being so exhausted by, like, talking to people, I just couldn't do it. All right. Tommy Vault. Am I saying, is that right? Is it Vault? Or is it like Velt? These are sick. Actually, I feel like you've definitely showed me your page maybe before. Yeah. These are fire, dude. Love that. That's really cool. That's cool. I love the moodiness. Yeah, these are really sick. Ooh, that was cool. Today. Do you happen to listen to emo music? Do you listen to emo music? I feel like they might be. I liked your variation in your frames in your last post. Okay, the last three shows I've just done something different. Okay, I'm gonna check it out and then I'm gonna copy you, maybe. But I'll shout you out. I'm always like, hey, I stole this idea from my friend. Go look at them too. I love this actually, this is sick. I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna steal this from you. I'm so sorry. Ooh, These are wait. gorgeous. Can you forward me that, that Instagram? <laughs> are you in the are you in the Twitch chat? You can just click on the link. Oh. Yeah. It? Oh, it's in the Twitch chat. Yeah, Tommy Vault. I'm on my computer. Editing. Possibly can't for... remember. I don't. We like stealing stuff from each other. I kind of stole it from Tom without the shout out. <laughs> that's what they that's what they call stealing like an artist, right? This is sick. I'm going to follow his ass. Yeah. This is great. I really want to convert my camera to um, I have an old, not an old, but I just don't use it. I have an old Canon 5D Mark IV, and I really want to convert it to an infrared camera when I have money that I just want to throw away. Um, we need to go on vacation first. <laughs> this is sick. I, I love concert photos in black and white. The whole tour I was on last year, all of my stuff was all black and white. These look great. I'm stealing this idea from you. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Your friendship is priceless. <laughs> Kaplan's, thanks for being here. Is Maple and Rumpel trying to convince you they're good thieves? <laughs> yeah, they definitely are. They definitely are. These are so sick. I really like how you edit your color photos, too. Ooh, this dude is spoopy. Hey, thanks for following me. Thanks for being here. Kaplan, cap lens. I lose every lens cap I have. I've never lost a lens cap, knock on wood. <laughs> I'm gonna steal it from you next time we hang out, and you're gonna be like, where are my lens caps? I'm gonna be like, I don't oh. know, I don't know, bro, where are they? Don't try me, these are sick. Yeah, I really love that double, that's a really good idea. You guys are geniuses. See, I just don't go on Instagram anymore, or like TikTok, like I just don't spend time scrolling, so I don't spend time like discovering new ideas like I used to. <laughs> Counter said, yeah, we have never seen a lens cap in your possession. That's so fucking true. Every time, every time I'm at a shoot, actually. So I just got a 100 millimeter macro lens like maybe five months ago. So I still have the lens cap and I was on set the other day. <laughs> and I never have lens caps. So I was like pissed when I saw the lens cap on there. I was like, oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> 
Oh, I am a nightmare. Beautiful work on both um, your IGs too. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for kicking around. Thanks for checking it out. I should pull up Katie's actually. What the heck? Um, Tom, I'm obsessed with your Instagram. Like, yeah, I, I really like it. Tonight. I'm gonna scroll it tonight. Also made like, a Photoshop template for the stack of three shots. It's in Discord. Me on my way to go get it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will be downloading that for myself. Thank you so much. Oh, Connor said everyone's IGs are so good. What the heck? Also, everybody smile. You're on camera. I'm sending my mommy a picture of everyone. Your mommy. I still can't get over that your mom and my aunt are friends. <laughs> I love it, dude. Maple, I love your emotes. The little maple leaf, I love it so much. It's so cute. Alright, let's just see if this destroys this I love photo. That too. Name. That's a cute name for somebody, Maple. Maple Glades, I like it too. I had a. Do you guys remember uh, My Little Pony? Oh, Man, yeah. I, I had so many My Little Ponies, and one in each color, and I had this beautiful, like, tan colored one, and her name was Maple. Oh my god, cute. Wait, Kaplan just got a new Canon R8. Is it crazy? Do you love it? With a 12mm RF lens and 35. Damn, you dropped a bag. The RF lenses are expensive. I'm really proud of you for keeping the caps, because that is not me. Mommy, I have friends and they are photographers too. Literally, that's me. I'm like, look mom, I swear, I, people, I swear I talk to people and socialize. I swear it, I swear it. <laughs> All my all my friends think my or all my family thinks my friends are fake. Oh yeah, that's definitely the orange the blue. That's it. My little cousin told my whole family that I was a whore once, and everybody believed it. So for the longest time, my family thought I was a ho. <laughs> Wait, how did we get here? Because you were like. Oh, Maple is a band account. You were like, my whole family thinks I'm a, a loser and I don't have friends. And I was like, well, my whole family at one point. Was my whole family thinks I'm a hoe, so <laughs> could be worse. David, I think you would like the song I'm listening to on stream right now. Uh, I ain't used to it yet. I refuse to use it until I got a screen protector on the touch screen. I am like so impressed by you guys. When I bought my uh, when I bought my EOS R, I bought it off a friend of mine, and he had already put all of like the screen protectors and everything on it. So thank God because one of the both of the screen protectors are cracked because I'm a nightmare. And when I was on tour, I was not taking care of my gear as well as I should have. Oh, for someone who has a screen protector on everything I own, I never do it for camera screens. <laughs> I know when I'm getting you for your birthday next year. Oh, yeah? What is it? I already forgot. <laughs> I was like, I already forgot. <laughs> Protective gear. <laughs> just for me. Just give me a bubble wrap suit. Oh my god, I forgot I was gonna say this, but earlier when we were talking about how we don't like to show up to like gatherings and stuff, I was gonna say, <laughs> I, was gonna say I came to your birthday party. <laughs> yeah, I came to my birthday party, I was shocked. <laughs> Honestly, I don't mean to brag, but that was one of the best birthday parties I've ever had. And it was so oh, easy. really? Yeah. My birthday this year... Well, this is what I usually do for my birthday because I'm not that bitch who's like, oh my god, it's my birth month, it's my birth week, everybody has to pay attention to me forever. On my birthday, I have a bonfire at someone's house that isn't mine because my yard is this big. And I say, if you want to come, cool. And if you don't, hell yeah, man. And this year, a lot of homies came and it was awesome. Yeah, there was a lot of people in my yard. And Ebo was attacking every single bud one day. No, every every foot was attacked that day. Um, I'm, I gotta keep up. Okay, my fave is now discounted due to Canon's cease and desist against Samyang as their 85 1.4. I don't imagine I'll get a high price for my cameras in a few years when I go to sell them with the abuse they get at shows. Oh my god, like that's why I haven't sold my Mark IV because it like just looks like a mess. Oh god, I 
forgot how heavy this bad man pajama is. My brother is calling me on the phone. One second. We're gonna do a brief, brief break, but I'll just chill right here. My brother has this tendency that if I don't respond to a text message within one to two minutes, he calls me. He's like, hey, did you get my text? <laughs> I'm like, dude. <laughs> I sold, okay. Oh yeah, my 5D Mark IV. It's pretty beat up. It's actually, I guess it maybe it's not ba as bad as I thought. But there's a lot of wear and tear like on like this area. It's pretty worn down. Ooh, I kind of miss having this in my hand. I haven't used it in a while. Maybe I'll play around with it this week or something. Cannon will get Sigma Glass? Okay, okay. I'm like, I gotta keep up. Yeah, Kuka, uh, I did hear that. I gotta start working out to lift those lenses. <laughs> Lens are you guys talking about Sigma lenses? Those are the- are you talking about lenses? Okay. Sigma lens is being heavy. Is that what you're saying, Connor? Sorry it took me a minute to get that sentence out of my brain and out of my mouth. That's the rumor. I feel that Rumble still spam. I take care of shit as much as possible, but cons in fucking Sweden are all conspiring against me. <laughs> what is Sweden doing to harm you, my friend? But we'll see, it's definitely coming, it's just a matter of when. Sigma coming to RF. Ooh, they probably, I mean, they probably will. They've had so much success with like the EFS and EF mounts, from what I know. Because that's what I started with, you know. I got Sigma lenses before I got the Canon ones, and they were awesome. They were great. Have you ever used a Sigma lens, Katie? On um, my Nikon, yeah. Yeah? I just didn't know if you had ever used them or if you'd always just been like Nikon branded girly um i don't remember what it was hmm. i don't remember this screen canon have said that they're letting in third party on the rf but it's on a case-by-case -case basis i love that you guys like keep up on like the lore because then i can just learn it via you guys I'm like, where are you guys seeing Canon talk about stuff? Where's Canon talking? <laughs> Sweden is doing uh, ice and snow. <laughs> oh no, is it really cold there right now? Is it like really, really cold? I want Sigma to put out an affordable 100 to 300 2.8. That would be really nice. That would be heavy for Sigma. David, do you ever take pretty pictures? Ad break ends in 54 seconds. Hey, if you don't want to get ads and you don't mind spending $5, you could give me $5 and then Twitch will give me $2.50 and then you don't have to watch ads anymore. But also, I get it. I don't stream very often. It's hard. Fuck Canon going here, afford a car or a lens. That's so true. <laughs> That's why I don't have any RF lenses still. I had so many EF lenses that I just got an adapter for my EOS R because it just... I, even if I sell all the things I have now, I wouldn't be able to replace them with the money I made just because it's so expensive. Only about negative 12 Celsius. Colder with the wind. I use Fahrenheit because America hates the metric system. Hey, like, what I is hate that? The too. I kind of low-key liked it in high school. I just don't remember it. It's 10 degrees in Sweden. Fahrenheit. 
can barely handle the degree that it is right now. <laughs> Just like 40 <laughs> Weather, Montreal. Oh, I wish I, I wish I had a weather app thing. I'm slacking. I try so hard to get it set up, and I just be slacking. Ooh, I'm starting to get hungry. I also, so random, and nobody else knows about this, but Dirty Honey, these guys, they're from California. And I'm a bad person because I smoke a, bra a breeze sometimes. But California just outlawed the flavored vapes. I feel like Kelly's gonna be getting. They're gonna be getting healthy real soon. Oh, I kinda want this in black and white. Do I want it in black and white? Ooh, yes. Same here in Finland. It's only 10 degrees in Finland, too. How? What's I'm like, what are the degrees where I'm at? Mm -hmm. It is 41 degrees Fahrenheit here. Which is like what in Celsius? I don't. How do I not remember how to do these conversions? It's uh, 30, isn't oh. it? 30 Celsius. I put 14. It's 5 degrees Celsius here. Way warmer than negative 12. We're having such a nice day in Montreal today despite the raininess. Maple, I wish I would have like connected with you more last year. I guess I would have, I wish I just would have streamed more and talked to you more because I was in Montreal last year and it would have been sick to meet you. By the way, Gabby, I don't know if I, if I saw but I posted a tutorial in your Discord. It's retouching tricks so you and your friends whose names I can't remember how to spell will probably benefit from it. That's awesome. No, I haven't looked. I will definitely look at it though. Thank you. We love yeah. resources. We love it. I will I will look too. Um, okay, textures up. I'm gonna bring that grain down a little bit because as much as I do love to make things look like film, I don't want it to look like it's like really bad. Find a new way to retouch. John fucking Nato. If you guys, if any of you guys are like big guitar people, this dude's like, I guess, really big in the guitar world. His name's John Nato. He's like really known for being an insanely incredible guitar player. Isn't it incredible? Do you ever look at your photos? Does anybody else look at their photos and think, what the fuck was I doing with the framing? Because <laughs> I'm looking at this picture and I'm like, it's sick, but what was I doing? Mine are always crooked. I'm like, why was I, like, fully crooked? I'm, I have a problem with that, too. And it's probably just because I rely so heavily on just fixing it in post. It's that only I when don't I'm always think the about viewfinder. it. Hmm, interesting. I feel like I do better when I shoot through the viewfinder. And with, like, the straightness of the crumb. I'm always crooked in the viewfinder. Don't know why. It's just the second my eyeball goes in there, I'm... Um, <laughs> Um, oh dang, next time. Yay, resource. All my shots except the stuff for Mad with Power are basically all Montreal venues. Oh my god, so yeah, you're in Montreal too. I'm definitely gonna have to make another trip out to Montreal then. I'll have to take a trip. Me every time I do anything. What was I doing? <laughs> that is me. I also feel that way about like, whenever I get excited about like something that I've worked on and then like three days later I'm like, oh. Yeah, this is fine, I guess. Lip enhancement tutorial in Photoshop. Actually, I'm kind of hyped to see this because I feel like lips are like the main thing that I kind of don't like to retouch. Yeah, lips can be annoying. I'm gonna Especially slap that subscribe button, brother, and add this to my watch list. Brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> so, Kelly, Tony, Jesse, and I have a separate group chat now, Katie, just because we would talk so much on the other one and like everyone wouldn't respond. <laughs> and it's just so unhinged but they like tony tony is sometimes so outlandishly funny like i don't even know how he comes up with some of this shit <laughs> also on christmas you know how tony likes to write the copy pastas 
He likes to he, You know how Tony always fucks around and like makes the copy pastas? I didn't know he did that. Oh. <laughs> oh he sent- I think he sent one in like our- in our sussy chat. For a holiday at, at one point. But, he's like- <laughs> He sent us a text yesterday. I have to read it because that just won't be oh. funny if I don't read it out loud. Wait, I know what you're talking about. I was thinking. He also does write creepypastas. He has before. Read it. <laughs> Tony said me over here cooking up the most brain rotting, cringe inducing foul copy pasta to bless the homies with on Christmas Day. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and it's like a gif of like this dude like cooking up this like massive lock of food. I can't wait for Christmas. I'm excited. I'm trying to get on tours but I don't see any of that happening anytime soon. It's hard as fuck. I got really- honestly when people are like, oh my god, how'd you get on tours? I got lucky because I was friends with the people who ended up becoming more successful and going on tours. And I was like already working kind of with them and shooting some of their shows through the summer and everything. So it was kind of just like a lucky thing, lucky break. Because I've been like even talking with people in the, all this last year and like back and forth about going on tour with other bands and other things. And it's just like, it's so hard to get on tour with bands that you don't know because usually they already have somebody that they do know that does the things that they want. Um, but. I I suggest just reaching out to people. Just keep reaching out to people, even if they're smaller. Obviously, you know. I I send so many emails that I never get responses to, but one day somebody's gonna respond, and I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, this is why I do this." Or if you keep keep showing them that you're interested, they'll probably be keeping you in the back of their head just in case one day main photographer is sick or something they can just hit you up when they're in your city and be like hey right okay is this this isn't better as a horizontal crop right no it's totally not okay moving on hmm i have a bad feeling about this we'll see yo i knew it bro okay undo 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 i don't like that i don't like it if y'all like creepypasta, you should check out Papa Meat, Meat Canyon, and Wendigoon's podcast, Creepcast, on YouTube. I have heard of this. Wendigoon, I've definitely heard of Creepcast. I haven't listened to it very much. I don't, I don't typically indulge in creepypastas, but my friend, or I guess our friend Tony, he wrote one when he was, like, younger. And a couple people randomly made, like, YouTube readings of them. So he showed it to me, and then after we had watched it... He got like inspired to go back into it and kind of rewrite some of his creepypasta, which I thought was kind of fun. I'm like, is David here? <laughs> I was just thinking that. David, are you here with us? Okay. No, he left. And David's like, I don't know anything about photography, so I'm gonna blast. <laughs> Haven't seen you live in a while. Am I just unlucky with the timings? Yes, you can't have it all, Tom. Tom deserves the world, alright? But busy is good. I'm quite busy at the moment, too. I have six shoot days next week. God damn. I wish I was that busy. Sounds awesome. What are you shooting? What are you most excited to shoot next week? Yeah, I think maybe I'd seen it maybe just come up on my, come up in my like YouTube home or feed or whatever. Are you big into creepy pastas? Ah, back at the flatlands. That's how I feel like about where I live. It's like so flat. You guys like Willow? Willow Smith, her music is fire. And you guys have photographed her really well. She's obviously not like deathcore or death metal, but she's definitely like rock girly. Actually, I feel like this is okay. Do I want to change the tone of the orange at all? Yeah, that's good. These are the same picture. Oh, but he's got a star. 
Which bell? Whatever, I'll just give them both. I already added them both. Honestly, I shot so many photos at the show, and I have not done that in such a long time. But I, I shot like I filled a card, which I haven't done ever at a show. Go watch your dog run away for three days. Busy, busy boy that Tom got the hair for it. <laughs> Tom does have a good haircut. I feel like I did. If if your hair is like it was on the, your Instagram. You do have a good full head of hair. Q for you. Do you sell prints to bands? Um, I don't sell the prints just because I feel like that feels weird to me. But that's just like a personal thing just because I'm like, I don't want to like profit off of someone else's like face and likeness, you know? Even though I did do the work, but that's just a personal preference. I also don't know, I guess I don't know. I don't know if people would want to buy them. I did think about, a couple people had asked if I um, sold my glass animals ones, but I just ended up printing them out and giving them to a few people if they really liked them, just because I was like, eh. Willow, do, Willow used to have the hair for Deathcore. I don't know if yeah, she's got that long that. locks anymore. I'm sorry, you guys haven't heard me say bye. <laughs> <laughs> Already. <laughs> He's left me three nights in a row. I've literally been nothing. He's left like me three hours. nights in a row. My man's is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? He keeps leaving. You guys do need another roommate. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I've been so bored. Dropped a new streamer in the Discord, so I gotta say, hey, BRB. Oh yeah, go say hi. Tell him I said hi. I will. I would say go and say hi to them too, but. Gotta stay focused. I had someone in Cali buy a print of Power Wolf, and that was unexpected. Oh, that's awesome! So you sell the print? Do you like have a? Do you sell them on your website, or did somebody like just DM you on the gram and was like, "Hey, can I buy this?" DM done IG. Yeah, I just, I've been debating, and Katie, maybe you can help me out with this debate in my brain. So obviously I have, so I have obviously my, my following. So the following that I have exists already through my main Instagram and my TikTok account, right? But I feel like I don't know if I should just make a separate art account for photo stuff, my graphic design and all that shit, or if I should just not care and be like, I'm gonna post whatever I want on my Instagram because it's my Instagram, and that's kind of the mentality I've had about it for the last couple of years. But I know that people are like, but uh, you need to have a niche. And I know that that's kind of true, but I just don't care enough to like do that. I don't know. I'm having a lot of existential crisis right now. Uh, I feel like, you, I mean, I feel like you could combine it all into one Instagram, but if you wanted to separate it, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I mean, I had had it separated at a point. I used to have separate accounts, but then I was just like, this is so fucking annoying to yeah. run more than and one. It's just easier for everybody to see right. what's going on. Slid straight into the DMs was like, how much for a print? Hey, those are the best kind of DMs. How much money can I pay you? And you're like, this many money. At least they weren't, right, at least they weren't like, send me that for free. Because I've had people do that before. I've had fans message me who are like, oh, I gave that thing to the band member before the show, and it's a picture. Can you send me that picture? And I'm like, no. Take a screenshot ew. if you want. Ew. I'm like, it's, well, it's not like, ew, but it's just like, if I do it for one person, then suddenly that's an expectation to do it for everyone. So I'm like, no, I'm not going to specifically dig through these 9,000 photos to find a photo of these fucking whatever you gave one of these people. So nice of you, though, to give them. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, I'm just ewing at... <laughs> no. I just got, like, kind of got cringed out by that. <laughs> I just kind of got cringed out. I made that friendship bracelet for the drummer, so can I please have that picture? <laughs> whatever. 
I mean, everybody's just excited and it's kind. And that's for being such an introverted person, I think that that was my biggest qualm, not qualm, but like my biggest challenge on the road. The traveling shit, loved it. Working every night, so sick. Editing a bunch of photos every day, the dream. Talking to people all day, every day, very tiring for a little introvert like myself. Yeah. But I learned a lot. I learned a lot and I met some awesome fucking people. Oh my god. Having an hour long conversation with someone, I come out of that shit winded. I'm like, <laughs> I need to like, that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, sorry, I have to look at my phone because in 2023, I'm not happy if I'm not looking at five screens. When someone who I haven't seen in a while asked My to go to lunch. My friend just sent me a picture of their dog. It's so cute, a video of their dog. Oh. Where's the dog? It was just at their house. The dog's name is Robert, which I also think is really fun. A dog with a human name, I love that. Okay, Katie, I need your opinion again. Yep. Okay. So all these photos are pretty similar. So out of these four, and anybody else in, in the chat too. Your opinion is valuable and I would love to hear it. Out of these four, because they're so similar, which okay, one do you home, feel like Matt. which one do you Ooh. feel like you jive with more? Okay, wait, go back. I think the one before that one. This one? My no, only thing about again. this is like this is obviously really hot, but I like hot in terms of like the brightness of this light. I'm not like, this dude's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, okay. Do, do all four again. Okay, four, three, two, one. My main thing with four is just that his face is the other way, which is kind of nice. I mean, it's not go like I- Go back to three. Here's three. Just because the white isn't as yeah, it's blinding. not so crazy. I think they have a side of Boston. Let me see. Is it still there? That's a cool picture. Man, if I ever perform, uh, I'd like you to take me up on this one. Please, dude. I'll be there, and you know I'll be so happy to be there. This many thousands. I have cosplayers talking to me about pics I took of them and printing it out on their own as kind of a pride wall. That's really that's really cool. So you do a lot of like cosplay photography, obviously too. I feel like that's a little different than like a random fan from some random city in Middle America, Nebraska, DMing me a week after the show and being like, "Hey, hey you, hey girl, <laughs> hey lady." Could you send me that photo or send me a print? And I'm like, I literally am living in a van right now. I have no capabilities of printing anything. <laughs> I'm living in a van. <laughs> I'm like, I'm literally living inside of a vehicle. Yeah, I actually love this photo of Justin. Alright, time to heat up some leftover falafel. Ooh. Some flaffle? Okay, I'm just gonna edit both of them. Who cares? <laughs> Some flaffle. <laughs> Who's gonna stop me? Nobody. Nobody can stop me. Alright, let's see. Ooh. I have a, a fucking vat of hummus to eat them with. Oh, we got some we had some hummus at the housewarming party yesterday. It was so good. We get a uh the store actually like basically down the block from me. But and it's just like the best hummus ever. Is it like a mom and pop type store? Um no, well yeah, kind of. I live I mean obviously you know, I just don't talk about where I live on the internet. But I live yeah, in a very heavily I like Middle like, Eastern like community and so there's a lot of great like Mediterranean food, Middle Eastern food. I also also a lot of Polish people, so a lot of Polish food. This is really sick. Pictures from Otakathon are ready to go, and I'm going to be posting everything in my blogs over the next few days. That's so cool you like run your blog and everything. I love these. These are really sick. 
This is really good. I feel like cosplayers must be so thankful to have people with real cameras like show up places because they work so hard on their cosplay. Literally just thinking of this, um, because you know the convention here was really recently, and I was seeing all these videos and pictures on iPhones, and I'm there was this kid that showed up and did one of those like live things where you can like see what he sees while he's shooting, and he took some really cool pictures on his camera. Yeah. Yeah. Just like inside the. The iPhones are, I mean, the phone cameras are getting pretty insanely good. I mean, they've been good for a long time, but my friend just texted me. Actually, the little sister of one of my good friends, which is funny. I hadn't talked to her in a long time, so it's nice to chat her up. But she texted me yesterday, and she's like, hey, I'm, like, trying to make some content for, like, my business. Should I buy a GoPro and an iPad so I can edit everything? And I was like, listen, queen, what iPhone do you have? She's like, oh, I have an iPhone 14 Plus Pro. And I'm like, do not buy any of that other shit. <laughs> if you're just making TikToks and making Instagram reels, and, like, she's not a videographer, she's not a photographer, like, she doesn't need to prove that she has good quality gear. I was like, right. you, and it'll be easier than pulling footage off of a camera and editing a TikTok together. Like, do not spend your money on that. Please. <laughs> Yeah, Ew, I wish that blue light wasn't on my guitar. It makes me sick. I don't know what camera this kid shoots on, but I don't think he shoots on anything, like, crazy, you know? Yeah. I think it's just, like, a... I, don't, I really don't know. It's got a pull-out screen. It's got one of those... You know, if it's, like, a Sony or if it's, like, a Canon or... I know he used to shoot with Canon. He may shoot with Sony now, but... Okay. The, the screen, like, pulls out and twists. And, like, my screen down. does that. My screen only... So my Canon, the Mark IV, doesn't do Oh yeah, that, the Mark but... IV doesn't have a flip-out screen. But the Which is Nikon, kind of surprising to me. The Nikon screen pulls out, but I can't flip it and put it down, like, around anywhere. I can just, like, pull it out. Right. And, like, air, narrow it. Or, narrow it. <laughs> Aim it, like, up or down. Right. I went to a holiday con recently to touch grass and say, hey, I'm looking to start this again. <laughs> to touch grass. <laughs> Literally. Me leaving the house my, like, one time a day, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing such a good job. I'm doing so mentally well. Um, Nate wanted you to come over the other night, but I was like, he's sick. Oh, uh, I was kind of feeling- after the night after the show, I- okay, so I don't drink when I'm at shows working, like, I don't get dr drunk. I really don't drink in general, but whatever, so I went to the show, obviously I showed up a little bit early because I was hanging out with them, haven't seen them in forever. Um, shot the whole show because I was like, hey, if I'm gonna shoot your show, you might as well let me shoot the whole thing. And... I felt so, like, hung over the next day, but I did not drink at all. It was awful. Weird. I think I'm just out of shape and just, like, out of... Because I haven't... I don't know. I haven't really shot an entire set in a hot second. Come use my pro time. Take a shake with me. Honestly, I might hit you up for that. That looks fun. It's really fun. You could you could do your ride while I stretch and... Oh, yeah. And just wait. straight up. We'll just trade off. That's what I need. That's what I need. You would just need, um... And it's a free gym, too. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, I could finally cancel this Planet Fitness membership I've been paying for for four years and showed up three times. Um, the only thing you would need to buy is shoes, because you have to, um, connect yourself to the Peloton. So you would need shoes I will. Like Thanks Unless for raiding. Did you raid me? Oh my god, I have a raid. Sorry, so sorry, Katie. But I have a raid, like, widget and didn't even tell me nothing. I thought. You're good. We tried to direct <laughs> the raid from Ashween Marwi, but it isn't working. They're nice, though. Def follow them, folks. I will. I will definitely make sure to check it out and go through all the Discord again today. I always go, I'm a big creeper in your Discord. I'm, like, not super chatty yet, because I don't know everybody, but... I love them, like... When I bought my um, EOS R from my friend, oh my camera's not in here. I thought it was. 
uh, when I bought my EOSR for my friend, he was like, Connor, actually, my friend Connor, I don't know if he's still in the chat, but he was like, I think that's going to become your main camera. And I was like, ugh, I don't know. I really love my Mark IV. And like, a shoot with the EOSR, my Mark IV has barely been picked up again. And it's because of the flip out screen. It's so nice to have. We tried, but tech issues. Aw, oh, man. Sometimes Twitch be like that. You can get, don't be jealous, Katie. You can have one. No and I had to go run to off to do live stuff. Boo, live stuff. I wonder how these glasses are gonna turn out. Chris, we look great. Did you air fry them? No, I just put them in the microwave. I really don't care enough for them to be super crispy. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Honestly, I'm like such a freak sometimes. I also feel like being on the road like instilled this in me a little more, but like I will just eat like cold food. I don't I don't really care. Like, why not, you know? Okay, I, I'm the type of gal that will literally eat anything if I'm hungry. Like, I will literally eat anything if I'm hungry. I as will literally eat anything. I just don't like squid. Can't <laughs> worry. <laughs> I will eat anything except for squid, okay? <laughs> Very specific. Meat squid, Actually, or meatloaf. Anything else, give it to me, I'll eat it. But I am trying to be healthy these days since I'm on a new workout routine. So I am eating a lot. I've only been eating fruit for breakfast. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I've been eating a ton of vegetables. I mean, I already, I always have been eating a lot right. of vegetables, but I'm You've always been a, veg a vegetable girly. Rumpel says squid it. is delicious in takoyaki balls. Ooh, what are takoyaki? 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 What, what Taco is them? Google. Takoyaki. <laughs> What is them? <laughs> what is them? Yo, these look fire. Takoyaki is both a ball-shaped Japanese snack made of a wheat flour-based batter and cooked in a special molded pan. It is typically filled with minced or diced octopus, tempura scraps, pickled ginger, and green onion. That sounds fucking fire, actually. Um, I'll tell you this right now. Rumpel still cam, I still want one of this. <laughs> I can't do squid. Which is these snacks? I love Asian food. I'm surprised I haven't tried those or seen them on any menu anywhere. Um, this is really weird, but I'll eat lobster, like, especially a lobster cake. But if you give me a full lobster, I don't want to eat it. Hmm. Like, I can't Something lie, I fuck with lobster too, so. Can't relate, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was watching know. an episode of Kitchen Nightmares the other day, and Gordon's Gordon, you know, and so he, he reaches into the, the lobster tank, and he pulls one out, and he's like, look at this, it's dead, you have a dead lobster in your tank, where are you getting all the other lobsters from? And the guy was like, I mean, if I cook it, does it really matter? And Gordon, I thought, was just gonna fucking lose his cool. Too. <laughs> right, I was like, dude, you have like rotting lobster inside of the tank with all your other lobsters. <laughs> That's a disgrace. Right, I was like, this is a federal crime. Ew. I have a few places in Montreal that make these. Check out the Mitsu Mitsuri J Japan. Mitsuri Japan in the summertime. I will also be there. I'm gonna drive, Katie and I are gonna drive to Montreal to try these. Sorry, Katie, you have to try them. Um, just so you know. Look at all these people. Look at all these people in my way. What are you guys doing? All up in my way. A lot of people don't want to drive to Canada with me. <laughs> Why? Because my, uh, ID and everything's flagged, so I, it would get searched. Your ID is flagged? Which is an inconvenience. Yeah, remember that? No, I swear I've told you this story, but... I don't think you've told me this story. Uh, me and Nate, it was dark, and he had me drive, and, um, I accidentally made a wrong turn into, like, where you go to Canada, so I said, shit, I'll just turn around, and I went to turn around, and there were, like, two cars coming, and I was like, oh, fine, I guess I'll just go up the road a little bit, and then, uh, turn around, but they had it, like, blocked, 
and these guards like came up to me and I was like, hi, I'm so sorry. I made a wrong turn. I just need to turn around. I'm not trying to get a camera. <laughs> oh, and this happens like, to me. Oh, this has happened to me before. They got like so, it was so weird. They like got up in my face. They started interrogating me. They were like, <laughs> why does it smell like weed? And Nate was like, so I was just smoking um, like an hour ago. So, um, I thought they were going to let us just turn around, and then they said, we're going to need you to pull over there. So, they pull over, or I pull over, they rip my car apart. Like, I'm literally not joking, they ripped the full seam of my trunk open. It was fully just, like, messed up my leaf. Put us in a giant glass, like, cube, and we had to, like, talk to this, like, dude give them all of our information we had to get separated and we weren't allowed to talk to each other and we had to go into separate interrogation rooms to make sure our stories were straight and this guy got all up in my face and like tried to make me cry he was like "Ooh, what do you think is going on back there like you think your boyfriend's getting arrested Ooh. and i was like this is what? crazy to me that this happened to you that's yeah, like actually really, really insane Full interrogation, they um, had to call in two separate um, women to search me, and I thought I was going to have to strip down naked. I was like, okay, if they're getting women to search me, like, I, I think they're going to make me, like, bend over and cough, but... <laughs> um, Katie's I like, damn, I've never thought about spreading my cheeks, but today's <laughs> the day. I, the only thing I had to do was take off my shoes and my jacket they didn't even make me take off my hoodie or anything they just, i'm like, just shocked that in. they were so crazy about you because when we were on tour we went through all of north america and canada twice and so the first time we went through canada we're obviously driving a big van you know a, a 12-seater van um, and so immediately when we get to the border, they're like, oh, you're not even going to drive through the regular thing. We're going to have you pull this van into a garage with all of us in it. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh my God. Um, we all get out and like, they're musicians and I'm an artist for a living. So like, yeah, we smoke weed sometimes. <laughs> um, but before we got to the border, we were like, everybody was kind of stressed because none of us, you know, none of us have been in a 12 seater van crossing the border before. So we didn't know what to expect. Um, and so they pull us into this garage. Whoa, what? What does this mean? Sure. Build one. Okay. Sweet. Um, they get us all out of the van, whatever. And there's like dudes in full on like army gear garb are like talking to us and even we were so like uptight making sure we wouldn't get in trouble and we you know got through the border like even our vapes we had put everyone who had one or had anything like we put them all in a ziploc bag and like handed it to the guys we were like here's everything we have that's drug related here it is <laughs> um so then they took us into like the main office they didn't check our person at all which kind of shocks me when i think about it now they didn't they didn't check our person for weapons drugs nothing they sent us inside they're like okay you're gonna go inside this other place you're gonna wait in the lobby all of you while we have the dog sniff through your van because when we pulled in they were like they were kind of testing the waters because they were telling us all the places where people like to hide stuff when they come through the border especially bands and stuff they're like oh yeah you know we know all the spots you know people shove them in the headrests of car the car seats and people shove them underneath inside the seats like we know all that stuff, so just make it, like, if you guys have anything in there, it's better to just let us know now. And we were like, brother, we do not have anything in here. And then, obviously, it was, it ended up being fine, but the dogs were searching the car, and me and this other person, it was only us two in the center row of the van, and we were also the two that smoked weed more than anyone else. And the dogs, like, tore our shit apart. They didn't find anything, but they really, like, my friend had, like, chew marks on his water bottle because they must have, like, the dog must have been able to smell the weed from his spit or something on, like, the mouthpiece of his water bottle. There was, like, chew marks on the water bottle from the dog. 
I was just like, first of all, can you have some fucking... Right, I was like, have some respect, because now, like, what if they don't want to put their mouth on this anymore? <laughs> yeah, if I If it wasn't for it. visas, I... I probably would have driven monuments around North America while they are opening for Ginger. Hmm. Yeah. Do you, I mean, could... Do you need... Do you need to have a visa just to come come through for a little while? I don't really know. I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't know how hard it is to get into America as an American citizen, but I imagine it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that they tore my knees apart, like the seams and fabric and stuff. Right. Because That's just they, crazy they, sauce. That's just disrespectful. They, they brought the dogs out after they did that. So I was like, why not have the dog sniff and be like, they're good, before going and ripping shit apart. Right. Like, why why go there first? I can't believe, and this just happened over by, like, the border by us, Katie, like... Yeah. It, it, downtown. Insane. I I genuinely believe it was because this one guy was, like, so obsessed with, like, busting us. He genuinely believed that, like, Nate hey, specifically was, was hiding. I won't be mad. We also couldn't bring our phones or our IDs or anything in with us. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe they're so crazy to you. Don't be mad for it. Thanks for being here. What's your story? What do you do? Obviously, you probably enjoy some aspect of pretty pictures if you are here. Um, I have, but I've made that mistake before, and they were really chill. I mean, they were obviously like, mm, really, and I was like yeah, bro, I really didn't mean to come here. And they were just like, okay, stand over there for a second. Oh, Hyan, God bless Palestine. Hell yeah. Thanks for being here. As a Canadian that would have been working as a driver through America, yeah, it's more difficult. That makes sense. Hmm. But, like, what if you lied? To, a, to the Ameri to the federal government. I feel like, honestly, you could get away with that. But I'm not recommending that you do that. I don't recommend lying to the federal government. Do you hear me? My FBI agent. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not recommending it. I'm just saying. Sometimes, you know, ask for forgiveness instead of permission. Sometimes that kind of helps. That works. It's the American way. That's the American dream. I was just happy to be getting across the Ambassador Bridge when I was coming back from Mad with Power. You got to go across the Ambassador Bridge. That's, that's, I live on the other side. I live on the other side of that bridge. That's awesome. Did you like the bridge? I think it's actually a really beautiful bridge. <clears throat> we got some cool stuff. <laughs> we got some cute stuff, yeah. Honestly, I've been seeing a lot of more content about how, like, amazing Detroit is. The The narrative's really switching, because I don't know if you guys know much. I mean, it seems like Rumble, you probably would, because you seem just, like, knowledgeable generally, but obviously Detroit has not been known in recent years as a nice place to be, necessarily. But now, people are finally realizing, like, it's not bad. It's a nice place. Like any big city, you have to be careful, of course, but... <clears throat> to me, the best city by far that I've spent time in is Boston. I don't recommend lying for a provable fact that you're driving a band around when the band is in the back. I mean, I guess I just meant, like, you don't have to... I guess I was just saying, like, yeah, maybe you were just behind the wheel for, like, a little while, you know? You don't have to be like, I am their driver. You could just be like, oh yes, I'm with them. I'm just taking a turn driving. Because there's so much driving. You know? You gotta be a good oh, you gotta be a good liar. That's I know what you mean. If you're gonna lie, you gotta you gotta have a plan. You gotta go in with a good plan. I mean I I I probably wouldn't lie either, because I'd be afraid. I'm just saying, you know, there's there's always options for everything. It 
was a quick trip through my first time even touching Chicago and Detroit. First time in Madison, Wisconsin. Did you like all those cities? Madison is beautiful, I think. I think Madison's like a very just gorgeous city. Never been to Wisconsin. Never been to Wisconsin? There's a cat breeder there that... <laughs> oh. That I'm, that I'm interested in. <laughs> There's a cat breeder there that sparked my interest. They're like the only... One of the only breeders in the United States that does this type of cat. So. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. What kind of... Is it a, it's not a Bengal, is it? No, you can't get bangles everywhere now. That's what I thought. I was like, okay, what? It's an, an Abyssinian. Ah, uh, yes. One of those. I know what those are. They're mainly in Europe. Really hard to get them in the United States. Especially by a, like, a legit breeder. Sometimes you'll just, like, know people that have one or two for sale, but... Look at how he's showing off his nipple. I'm sorry, <laughs> but y'all gotta have to look at this pic. <laughs> the way he's, like, pulling his shirt. He's like everybody look. There was a couple there was like a couple girls in the in the crowd that like any time I mean obviously it's like okay it's a rock band, yeah. But any time there was a, a moment of silence, they were just like, You're so hot So loud. So maybe that's why he was showing a little skin. He's like, You gotta give the people what they want. I wish I had falafel to eat. Can you hear me eating it? No. Oh. I was just thinking about it. I was just thinking about me <laughs> eating it instead of you. I already took my wrist crossing the board with my business cards in a few pockets that I show. I shoot shows, I shoot portraits and landscapes, and I was going to Madison to shoot the festival. Oh, I mean, that makes sense, but I- Did you- did you spend any time outside of, like, the festival grounds or not really? Because obviously, like, how could you? I'm sending the- I'm sending the group chat this picture next time. I wanna- why? Why? Oh, why? Lightroom makes me so mad sometimes. Like, some of the, like, little things about uh, Lightroom. Like, if I'm in the masking mode and I click copy, it won't oh, just copy no, no. it. I'm like, dude, you know what I'm asking for. Why are you making this difficult? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the most flavorful waffle I've ever had. I tried a new Mediterranean place last night. Oh, yeah? I was Good? Glad it was worth the oh. money? Glad that, like, a new experience was worth it? Yeah, this is the craziest chicken lemon rice soup I've ever had in my life, too. I was like, holy shit! I can't lie, Leo's kind of sometimes has good-ass chicken lemon rice soup. They do, but... <laughs> not as good as some other places. Oh yeah, definitely <laughs> not. I was just saying generally. I'm not comparing it to the place you're eating now. I'm just saying that's my experience with lemon rice soup. I've had much better luck at one of the Royal Coney's. Mm. I don't really that go to a Coney very often, so if I do, I'm like, okay, at least I kind of know what a Leo's is. I grew up going now to my Coney Island all the time. Yeah, I guess I didn't grow up in an area having all these different Coney Island options. Because the only Coney I'd have been to until I, like, was in college was, like, the one local place. And it was, like, a very mom-and-pop, like, local guy who just owned a Coney place. <clears throat> the festival is confined to one venue in Madison, not a big outdoor festival. Okay, okay. They only have 12 bands with six per day, and the organizer gets on stage after the first three performances and says to go away for an hour, <laughs> go eat, go take care of yourselves. Oh, that's kind of nice, though. I feel like more festivals need to have people like that that come out and they're like, don't forget to take care of yourself. That is important. Go take a break. <clears throat> Yeah. Is Connor still here? I don't think or he's still in the chat. Suit? He said he was like going to the gym or some shit. I don't know. He he's said like, he was like doing cardio and shit. But... Right. I was like, Ew. I lost interest when he's like exercise. I was like, okay, have fun, bye. <laughs> Seriously, come get in shape with me. 
Shit, I might have to. After this, I mean, after being sore from shooting the show. <laughs> Poultry no motion, thanks for being here. Isn't that what Coke is for? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is what it's for. That is one of the many uses I've heard. It's for. Not so good for your heart, though. <laughs> no, not great for your heart. Such a chill festival for power metal. Yeah, that does sound really chill. I was, so someone they hired me like six months in advance to shoot something kind of similar in Detroit. It wasn't like, you know, uh, it was just kind of like indie rock music, but they were going to do something similar in Detroit at one of the venues here. And like the day before she was like, oh, I'm so sorry, but the whole event is canceled. And I was like, how? How did you hire me six months ago? And somehow something happened within the last 24 hours that you have to like, like, you cancel everything. I was just very perplexed. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. I guess I just was like, how does that even happen, really? Like, what could have went so wrong a day or two before that you're like, oh, I gotta cancel the whole ass bitch? I just remember there was, um, some little festival that Nate was supposed to go to at, in Detroit. And, um, because of all the like storms and stuff, too many artists' flights got delayed, and too that many people sense. weren't going to be able to make it, so they canceled the whole thing. Like, damn. I'm not surprised by that, actually. Maybe that's maybe that was something that happened with this festival, but I don't think so because it was like in the it was like in October, so the weather really wasn't that bad then. But who knows? I don't know. I was bummed just because I wanted to do it. I mean, it isn't hurricane in season? I have no clue. I thought hurricane season was probably like all of summer to summer fall, maybe. So, but I think all the bands that were playing were like Midwest. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, whatever. I'll circle back. I'm sure I'll circle back. Your sound is low. Is it low or is your volume down? Because all my stuff is showing that it's going like almost up to the red. So I don't want to turn it up too loud, but I could turn it up louder if. That's helpful. Let me know. Katie, talk for a second, if you will, my sweet queen. I have falafel in my mouth. Perfect. <laughs> I just want I just want to check the audio level to make sure. Um, um to see falafel, if you were gonna clip. Falafel. <laughs> falafel, falafel, falafel. I just turned the volume up. I if I turn it up louder, my mic starts clipping, so I don't think I don't think I should do that. I don't know. I'm like obviously a fairly newer streamer, so I don't know how the sound shit works, but I just uh, don't really know how to make it much louder without clipping it out, and I just don't want it to sound really bad. You sound good on mine. Okay. Well, that's because I well that's why I was I like didn't... no one else has said it. That's why I was like maybe is your volume down, but I don't know. Every time I set up the stream, I always do something wrong technically, so I wouldn't be surprised if my volume's like not good at all. I wouldn't be surprised. I've had a local promoter cancel a show I was looking forward to covering, cancel his whole thing a week in advance, made the band that was coming from the States have to suddenly change their plans for coming up to Canada. Yeah, that's like, I mean, obviously there's always reasons for why that stuff happens or whatever, but it's just like, that's what I was thinking about with this festival too, is like, when you're working with musicians and you're working with freelancers and artists, it is not the same as, you know, telling all of these people, just so you know, all that money you made, you thought you were going to make and all of that work you thought you were going to do. I'm just not, you're just not going to do it anymore. And that's fine. Thanks. You know, and like, that's such a, that's not a mentality that people would approach any other type of artist with. And there's also like, no, there's very rarely any thought or consideration about the fact of, oh, so now for six months, I had not only blocked this weekend, but also planned to make this much money. And you're not even acknowledging the fact that now I am just, you're just like saying you and all of these bands aren't getting paid and not making any of that money we talked about. And you're totally cool with that, right? You know, it's like, I don't have a choice, but no, it's not really cool. Every other channels are fun. <clears throat> I, I don't I don't know I don't don't be don't be mad I don't know why it's not working for you because I also text my other friend uh, earlier when I started and he said it sounded okay but I don't know I just don't want to be too loud and clip out of it because then it sounds really awful I mean I could turn the music up if that's the audio you can't really hear but I feel like my vocal stuff feels okay I'm like well, maybe I should just listen to it myself 
<laughs> you reminded me of that viral clip. Just a baby. <laughs> just a baby. <laughs> yeah, I just listen. I just listened to the stream on mine, and it sounds good. So I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, hang on. I know that account. You came into my stream the other day and started spamming political shit. <laughs> which which account are you talking about, Photo Elite? It's the same guy that I got a red flag from from telling him for the for this much work, this is how much I expect to be paid as a freelance artist, and he had a fit. That happened to me a couple <laughs> weeks ago too. Hmm. So what are these people doing? They just like are jealous. What's the deal? What are you What are you talking about? Katie, what the you guys, mean? the guys that come in, they're like, "Oh, you're not worth that." Ultra emotion. Are you like shooting the Jonas Brothers? Like, who's paying you thirty five hundred pounds to shoot one show? The Jonas Brothers. <laughs> I mean, go crazy. That's sick. I wish it was me. But, right, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, you have to you have to be working with somebody that must be pretty big to be charging that amount of money. I mean, I... For my area, people have no problem telling me how that I charge a pretty penny, but I definitely... Alright, weird flex, but pop off, bro. I charge $30,000 for a wedding. That is insane. Holy shit. That's crazy, bro. But answer our questions. Answer our questions, we gotta know. Who's paying you $3,500 to shoot a show? <clears throat> no one books them, that's what I charge. <laughs> I was like, wait, I gotta know about these people because- Yeah, I was like, damn. I was like, who the hell? Who's got- the money, I was like, pop off, get the fucking bag. Cause if people will pay for it, get the bag. But damn, that is hilarious. Did you bring the Coke for the wedding? Yeah, for 30K, the least you could do is bring like, I'm like, am I gonna get canceled on Twitch? Are they gonna like flag me? I don't know. I'm like, the least you could do is bring like a kilo. Oh, sorry if you just heard that. <laughs> That 30k British pounds is 37k USD. Oh my god. I have gotten, you know, I have gotten paid in the double digits, or I guess double digits that way, but for a couple of jobs before, but definitely not like 30 grand for like a show or a wedding. Oh, that's the dream, man. Oh, oops. The wedding fee is so anyone wanting wedding photos stops talking to me. <laughs> That's literally same. I literally have that same shit. My, when people ask me about weddings and if I'm like, if you really want me to do it, here are my prices and they're higher than most people around me because I really hate shooting weddings. But every once in a while people go for it and I'm like, fuck. But I mean, I guess I'll take the bag, but fuck. I mean, I know why Gabby does not like doing weddings but tell me, tell me why i don't like doing weddings because you don't like the, the things that come with it <laughs> you're like it's not worth it you're like what i here, here's why i don't shoot weddings my main reason of why i don't shoot weddings is because i don't want to be responsible for the way that somebody remembers the best day of their life i don't want to i don't want to have that responsibility I can take good photos. I know I can do that. However, I don't care enough about you and your love to like, <laughs> I'm happy for them. It's amazing they're getting married. I, but it's okay. It's okay. I feel this way because I don't shoot weddings. So it's okay that I'm like, you know what? I don't care enough about other people's love to like make that my life, you know? That's just me. I See, shoot I the wedding for tw I, <laughs> I know, you're really good at it too. Maybe I'm just like, eh, this is fine. I just, it's not exciting enough for me either. I need to feel like I'm on cocaine if I'm shooting something and like concert lights make me feel like I'm on cocaine, so. I mean, I, I've been very lucky. I, I've probably, I probably can only think of like one or two weddings off the top of my head where there was like family drama happening. People are normally normally pretty chill. Like 
sometimes there's one person that oversteps and thinks they can tell me what to do, but other than that, not really much drama, not really much Bridezilla <laughs> action happening. Me I shoot the wedding for two thousand pounds. The extra twenty-eight thousand pounds is a tax for me to put up with them and their family drama. <laughs> Not ever Vanessa Joy charges more than fifteen thousand dollars for a wedding, and she's a bloody canon ambassador. Not even Vanessa Joy. I mean, but, but I know people locally who sh who charged fifteen to twenty thousand dollars for weddings, and people pay it. Like I do know people personally who charge that much for weddings. Yeah. Bill, Bill's uh, smallest package is 10k. I mean, shit. People, and he's people he's booked it. every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Imagine, imagine that. Why don't you start trying to fucking charge 10k? Why not, dude? You earned it. Um, I don't think I'd book a lot of people. <laughs> I don't really have that clientele yet. Nah, dude, it'll be fine. I mean, I could experiment and try 5k. Yeah, I feel like if people see Canon Ambassador, they're definitely, like, way more willing. I mean, even so, just, like, just, there's just so many small little things that people use as a reference to, like, gauge your professionalism. And, like, that feels like, one, oh, Canon Ambassador, this person's clearly worth the 15k and amazing. Or, like, oh, this person has 50,000 followers on TikTok, they must be amazing. It makes yeah. sense that they, you know, that they charge more because they have this. And I'm like... That's why I built up the TikTok th in the first place. I was like, okay, if I have at least one social media that has like a good number that makes people be like, oh, that's cool, then I'll start getting Should my I? job. And that's what happened. It did work. Should I put that in my bio? Canon ambassador? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Elena Kozak, relax. <laughs> I'm like, I got no problem saying her name. This person... There's a really crazy mega scammer in Detroit who just got in a bunch of big trouble for scamming a bunch of people. He's a photographer. She just crazy followed me sauce. on TikTok. Did she? Mm-hmm. Let's be certified besties. I did not follow her back, obviously. I didn't even go on there. I just was on there uh, real quick watching a video my brother sent me. And, I, <laughs> and it came up and she followed me and I went, shit. <laughs> shit. Bums me out, man. Bums me out. Her thing is confusing. Tell me how this reads to you. To me, it sounds like nine thousand dollars for her team to even show up, and on top of that, another fifteen thousand dollars for Vanessa herself to show up. I'm proud to be one of the top wedding photographers in the country, giving the absolute best in photography and product quality. Packages start at seven thousand five hundred dollars, with an average initial investment of around nine thousand dollars for an associate team and fifteen thousand dollars for Vanessa personally. Yeah, that That's is crazy. actually insane. That's actually insane. It's not two thousand dollars for one person to show up. Right. I'm like, uh What is she doing uh Vanessa I Hudgens just... wedding in Tulum the other week? Like who is this person? Well, I just feel like I don't know. I have a very strange relationship with how I feel about people who charge a bunch of money or double book weddings to send associate shooters on and then also take that money. Because A Obviously, I get it. A lot of people work with associates that they trust and they and they train them, blah, 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 teams of people. I guess it's fine. But I don't know. I just think it's a really weird vibe that I've seen a lot of more wedding photographers doing where they're not telling clients that they're booked already for certain days, double booking, triple booking weekends, and then sending associate shooters out to these weddings and paying an editor. So it's like, why are you even involved? in my opinion, because they came to you for your photography and now you're not even touching it. And that to me is just like yeah, weird, weird vibes. But that's, again, that is just a me thing. I don't work in the wedding industry and that's a huge part of it, I'm sure. So like, I'm just no, talking well, shit. I am just a, I am just a girl. <laughs> I'm just a baby. <laughs> I'm just a lassie who's got opinions. I mean, I just, I, think it's, I, get it. I just think it's snake weasel behavior because, you know, you know that you, there's other photographers who could take the entire job, actually fucking show up to it as themselves, and provide them exactly what they're looking for. Yeah, some of these people are probably thinking they're booking her, and then when she doesn't show up, they're like, oh, I'm sure, oh, I'm sure at this level of cost, they're probably having a lot of, like, pre-wedding meetings and shit, but... Yeah, that's just crazy, though. 
I just think it's a weird vibe. I think money detectors are generally social manipulators and know they can manipulate money out of people who are emotionally charged areas of their life. Okay, pop off, King. Kind of true, though. Kind of true. Honestly, she probably did. Honestly, once Vanessa started using 100% AI to edit, I lost respect for her. I feel the same way about that shit, too. Like, people who use all like AI to do all their editing and stuff, and there's actually somebody who's local who's, like, kind of trying to push it to all of our, like, local photographer people of, like, why are you still trying to hire editors when you could just get AI, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, bro, you are literally sinking your own ship. You're sinking your own ship. Are you calling me, um... A social manipulator? Yeah, I am. <laughs> That's how Katie's so good at it. She's just really good at manipulating people into giving her money. What'd you say? I said, yeah, you're just like really good at manipulating people into giving you money. <laughs> no, I will say I'm good at acting like I oh. am like super into like socializing. Like when I'm at a wedding and people are like talking to me, I'm like, yeah, I'm a guy. On the inside, I'm like, wow, okay, so four hours left, and then my ass is out again. <laughs> that's fucking me. Oops, that's my fault. I meant to. I think that's I mean, my I problem. Love I start losing my luster after about four hours. Yeah. I just, I have a very, very short social battery. <laughs> Same. I've used AI a little bit to edit for full, for full retouch for a couple clients, but all my show stuff is 100% me. Yeah, I just don't- I don't know. I'm just like a weirdo. I'm just- I have too many control issues too. Like, I'm not- I don't trust the computer to do what I do. Even though it'd probably do it better. Because it's a fucking computer. <laughs> but, I don't know. I also have- I also get a lot of like... It's very therapeutic for me to like sit down and do like a retouch. So I like to do it. Which probably is also why I'm like, why do you guys want to use AI? Retouching's so fun and great. It'd be so fun. <laughs> I'm really tired tonight, man. Really. You're just a sleepy girl. What? You're just a sleepy little kitten. I'm a sleepy girl. My sleepiest bean. To be fair, I didn't get my full amount of sleep that I normally need, so I might have something to do with it. It's probably everything to do with it, bro. I'm like, you'll be really proud of me. I once again did not fall asleep until 5 a.m. Last night. Uh, I think I fell asleep at like... Hmm, I don't know, maybe around midnight? 12.30? So proud of you, bro. Watching one of my favorite movies when I fell asleep. <laughs> What movie are we watching? Um, um what? What? <laughs> I had to walk away and go around my table, so that's oh, what I was, I was like, like going wait, what'd you say? Bring it around. Um, yeah. One of my favorite movies, really um cheesy, but I love it so much. It's called Home with Reese Witherspoon. It's just a nice feel good movie. I love it. I do love a good but, feel good movie. Everybody knows my favorite movie of all time. <laughs> Do we? Does does everybody know? AI can help, but like, I have no, a dodge only... plugin that saves me hours of global dodging and burning and frequency separation on sliders, infinite tools, and they help like a lot. But they do not alter the image beyond my control like a lot of AI does. Yeah, yeah, I definitely. I mean, I also built all my own Photoshop actions, but that I spent a lot of time doing that in 2020 because obviously I was that's when I was learning photography and that's when I was kind of learning how to edit properly. So I was just like. I'm going to make Photoshop actions for everything, and that makes my retouch process a lot quicker than it is just me building all of these pieces of the process every time. I just have an AI girlfriend, nothing else. How is she? Is she a real sweetheart? An like, AI girlfriend. It's like the movie <laughs> Her. Which is oh an my incredible God. movie. I never saw that movie. It's really good. But you know my favorite movie. We've had a full conversation during um, in an in Among Us chat about it. Especially Tony. Tony was like very passionate about his opinion. I just like, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Fast Five. I've never heard of that name in my life. 
the fifth Fest. Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> Am Tony I was brainless? Like, what are we? What? That's your favorite movie? Yes. Dog, I don't know where I was during that conversation. <laughs> I must have heard Fast and Furious and checked out. Yeah, Tony was like, "Oh, Tokyo Drift, the best," and I was like, "No, Fast Five is." <laughs> Said, no. You want to know why? Because there's an actual plot. It's action packed. Paul Walker is. It's action packed. <laughs> I love action movies. If there is just full action after action, I'm in it. Especially if there's a plot. Mm. And then huh. they brought in Dwayne. They brought in Dwayne Johnson. Um, for that movie. And yes, I photo elite. I will agree. Fast and Furious went very downhill after Paul. <laughs> but. I will say the sixth Fast and Furious movie, the one that they did before he passed away, terrible. Fast and Furious six, awful. Seventh, amazing. Eighth, eh. Ninth and tenth had me barfing in my mouth. <laughs> I just am like shocked that you even know all of them enough to like have these this frame of reference for how you feel about each movie. My Gabby, the extent of my Fast and Furious experience is the Fast and Furious ride at Universal Studios. I'm literally obsessed with the Fast and Furious movies. And the memes of Vin that. Diesel and, and the family. I started watching Fast and Furious when I was... How old was I? I fell in love with the movies when I was probably like... Hold on. Let me look up when the first one came out because... I saw it for the first time when it was on TV, so it'll be a few years after the first one. Oh, a TV. A TV yeah, it was, playing on, it was playing on like TNT or something. Okay, so the first one came out in 2001, so I probably saw it for the first time in like 2003, 2004, which makes me like nine years old. Why won't this fucking slide? Just slide. You're a slider. What are you doing? Can you picture a nine-year-old watching Fast and the Furious? I mean, yeah. My grandma had me watching The Exorcist at like six, so I can imagine anybody watching anything in it. Why well, was a little girl into a racing movie and like naked girls and like stuff? Katie, do you got something to tell Nate? You got, you guys need to have a conversation about them? Why was I watching that? I don't know, but I was obsessed with it. She's so nice, she never takes my food either, which is amazing. Honestly, that'd be the best part about dating and having an AI boyfriend. Don't have to share my food. I would never take food from anyone. I don't do that. It, it's, it's you're just weird I with germs, bro. Well, it's not because you're a good yeah. person, it's because you hate germs. <laughs> okay, that's true, but it is hey, also because you're a good person. I know, you are a very good person. Hi, Imbeckable, how are you? We're talking, we're talking about AI, we're talking about Nicki Minaj today, we're talking about concert photography, we talk about traveling. What you got going on? How was your week? You left out something important, we were talking about Fast and Furious too. <laughs> I refuse, <laughs> I refuse to give Fast and Furious any space in my brain. You gotta watch it though. Do I? Do I gotta? Yeah, I probably should watch them. I gotta know what all this family business is about. I, I will say the new one, the tenth one, <laughs> that's so ridiculous to say, the tenth one, um, was actually really funny because Jason Momoa's in it and he plays the villain, and this villain is probably like the, like, darkest villain of the whole, um, I guess series. I just didn't even... I didn't even and consider really the fact that the Fast and Furious series has, like, a villain. Oh, I, there's I, villains. I'm good. Just got home from shopping at Barnes & Noble. Oh my god, did you get some fun books you're excited to read? I will. Maybe I'll start tonight. I'll watch it tonight. I wish I could watch it on stream so I could, like, be live reacting to whatever the <laughs> fuck I'm about to be watching. But I think that Twitch would definitely take that down. There's some good actors in that series, too. You got Kurt Russell, Gal Gadot. I mean, like, there's some iconic people in there. Huh. I mean, I know I know it's, like, iconic. I just never really gave a shit about it, to be honest. 
notice how I didn't list Vin Diesel in that list of good actors. You don't think he's a good actor, bro? No. He's been carrying that series on his back for 13 years. Or wait, no, 22 years. I appreciate him for that, but he's not a good actor. You're like, yeah, that's fine, but... <laughs> he is like... I think ever since Paul passed, Vin Diesel has like spiraled and he's like not thinking clearly. Mm. <laughs> like there's he he has some very odd like things. He'll like record himself talking and he just like doesn't seem right. He does not seem all there. It's Katie, hard to explain. Katie, if you were gonna sell me <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh, how do I start it over? Pitch meeting for fast start again. Oh my god. Start again. Okay, one second. Let me click the link again. How do I use a computer? I won't be able to hear it. Oh, well, if we both shut up, you can turn up the tech. Oh, there's, for a second. there's tech. We're making movies about street racing. Name a bald guy. Uh, uh, him. He's a great actor. Bald guy, uh, The Rock. Bald guy, a uh, state One that does R&B. I don't know, uh, Tyrese. You're fine. Oh, <laughs> Simon <laughs> fucking say, no. sit back down. Okay, okay. So are we thinking like a trilogy? No, we're gonna make twelve of them. No. What? Name a bald. I think what he said. No, I'm pretty sure he said. You're fired. He said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. If we make them all about street racing, how are we gonna do international espionage? Huh? How are we gonna fight Russia? Bring characters back from the dead? How are we gonna do that? Achieve invincibility? Cars are gonna swing on vines. You Sorry? shut up, you. my mind that there's so many people that are just like they are just willing to make shit for the internet and it rules oh man that was good thank you i needed that i needed that intermission that was pure gold <laughs> i love the family jokes <laughs> well that's the only thing that's like i know i know the ride at orlando and then all the <laughs> how are we gonna do international espionage i liked the family 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 I, that's all I've ever known is like the Vin Diesel memes of like, who needs friends when you've got family. I actually made a, I actually made a Fast and Furious reference in one of my YouTube videos about family. Oh really? Yeah. Now I'll, now I'll think of you. No, I just knew the meme. I'm such a fake ass bitch. I'm a poser. You gotta watch them. I... Well, funny. I mean, my mom them. I mean, I believe that. Share Bear loves movies. She just loves she a good movie. She okay, did. did you get any good books at the Barn at Barnes and Noble? I have to know because I'm nosy. <laughs> she she did love Fast Five. Did she have you in her ear telling her she better fucking like it or you don't want her to be your mom anymore? Yes, I was like, if you like <laughs> me, I don't know what to tell you. I knew it, dude. I knew it. I knew you'd be sure like that. It's it's just, it was the first one of the series where there was actual, like, thought into the writing. <laughs> you know, it wasn't just like, right. boom, boom, cars, boom, boom, hot girls. It was like, alright. Vroom, vroom, cars, vroom, vroom, hot girls. <laughs> Oh man, but I love hot girls. I mean, there's still hot girls and all of them. Just torn it down a bit. There's only right, like they're one like all right. Where there's like hot girls. <laughs> it's like, like we need classic. a new, new trick, new monkey because the hot girls thing isn't selling as much as it used to. It's all the stunts now that get people to watch it. Yeah. I think that's part of why I've not really been interested in them is that they're just so out of pocket for being like car movies. Girl, don't get me started. So that's why I've just always kind of been like, oh, oh whatever. Yeah. 
I mean, the fifth one got a little ridiculous with the cars, but as soon as you hit six, it's like, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, mm, okay. And Vin Diesel drives the the car out of the airplane while it's crashing. <laughs> right. See, that's what I'm like, there ain't no reason for that to be happening. There ain't nothing yeah. in the world that leads me to believe that there's a plot line where this works. And it's literally in the trailer for the movie, too. So if you watch the trailer, or if you saw the trailer before seeing the movie for the first time, that scene has no power over your emotions whatsoever because you've already seen it before. The scene has no power over your emotions at all. Because it's there to be like, whoa, it's badass. But like, right. you see it in the trailer. So when you see it again, you're like, okay, I knew that was going to happen. So like, right. what's the point? I feel like they do that a lot. Which you kind of have to with the trailer, right? Because like you have to show all the parts that will make people want to watch it. But I do feel like they do kind of do that a lot. Yeah. It's yeah. Also, I have the memory of a goldfish, so usually it's fine for me because I don't remember anything I see in the trailer. <laughs> Uh, they did a really good job with the trailer for Fast Five. Like, they didn't yeah. really... The trailer for Fast Five didn't really give too much away. Hmm. That's good. I don't know. Which is... I just also didn't see that one. Well, skip the first four. <laughs> Watch that one. Skip the first four. Yeah, you really don't need to know much besides for, like, one thing. To watch that movie. Shit, I'm so hungry. I'm really hungry today. Me too. So I just ate my falafels. My falafels. And I had hummus and soup and tomatoes. And bread. Damn, you got a, you got a nice little spread for lunch. Oh, I always have a spread. I know we do. <laughs> oh, I just friends. have to eat multiple things. I can't sit down and eat one thing. I have to have, like, a main protein and, like, two sides. My main thing is, too, is just, like, I'm such a grazer. Like, I will sit and eat something for, like, over the course of a couple hours versus, like, oh, let me sit down and, like, eat all of this right now. Mm, see, that's how I am with liquids. <laughs> Like a smoothie, I will suck that thing for three hours. So. Uh, you'll what? You'll what that <laughs> thing for three? Hey yo. I will suck that thing for three hours, maybe more. Discord just added uh, like sound bites. Oh yeah, we're literally in Discord. So I'm gonna make a sound bite of what you just sound said. Sound bite me. And I'll prove to my family that I'm even more of a hoe than they thought. <laughs> To, for some clarity, uh, well, when they started that when they started that rumor, I had only ever dated like two people. <laughs> yeah, I just can't believe your family. <laughs> when you said when they started that rumor, when your own family was rumoring about you. My family's crazy. They are a little kooky, but like in a fun way. You know my mother. <laughs> and I know one of your brothers. Yeah, oh my god, I keep forgetting that you've never met the other one. Yeah, I'm a fake bitch. That's crazy. He talks about it all the time, too. He's like, I don't know your friend. Like, okay, so do something. You're like, okay, but what are you gonna do about it to change that? Like, you don't come to my birthday party, so... He didn't come to my birthday party this last year because he, uh, I think he had a baseball game. Bitch. He's always gonna have baseball games, he's not always gonna have you. Period. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that was kinda cryptic. <laughs> you know something about my life, I don't know. Yeah, so my uh, my special talent, my special skill, is that I actually know the day every person in my life's gonna die. That's actually crazy. Because Imagine it's going to be at the hand of me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Someone should make a show. Someone does a good plot for a show. I'm sure it exists out there. 
I'm sure there's a real person who believes that they have the power too. <laughs> the and second the, you meet someone, you know when they die, that's crazy. In the world we live in, I just know it, bro. I was talking about this with my friends in Discord yesterday too. If there was ever a zombie apocalypse, what would you do? Would you just die because that'd be easier? Would you fight really hard to survive? Like, what would you do? I would, def I would definitely fight, but I'd be the first to go. <laughs> I feel like, okay, so I definitely know what would happen. I would be like, yeah, I just would rather die. And then I would work really hard not to. But when I was playing, well, I wasn't playing. I was watching my friends play this game yesterday and I did have an intrusive thought that I'm now gonna share with all of you because if I suffer, you suffer. Ooh, I love an interesting thought. The, uh, so like, <coughs> people are weird, you know? They have their like kinks or whatever. They have like their things that they're into. We're gonna go into just chatting mode for this. But like, if there was a zombie apocalypse, and this makes me sick to say, I'm good. I have a literal portable bomb shelter set up, set up links, the works. Damn, you it. You actually have like a. Are you post alone? <laughs> I'm like, wait. Do you actually have a bunker? Um, but what I was trying to say is that there's a lot of freaks in the world, and then I had this terrible intrusive thought that if the zombie apocalypse were to happen, there would be people in the world that would want to like, you know, do stuff with them. And that makes me sick. <laughs> it just makes me sick. Cause you know there's people out there in the world that'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll have sex with a zombie. That's hot. It just scares me, man. I'm just scared. I'm like, that's my biggest fear for the zombie apocalypse. Are the people who are attracted to the zombies. I'm not afraid of the zombies. I'm afraid of those people. Yeah. I'm, I'm more afraid of people during the apocalypse than whatever's going on. Right, because people are going to be the ones that are, are killing each other to get shit. Yeah. So you have a bunker. Okay, when did you start When did you start building out your bunker? I just realized I had this whole ass light designer and I'm like changing the color of every single picture. I was like, this light designer is so sick. Let me change all the colors he did for everything. That's a sick ass picture. Remember how you were saying that drummers don't get good pictures of themselves? That's, that's cool. You like this one better than this one, probably? I mean, I guess I'll just edit them both, whatever. I like the other one. I like that one. I get what you mean about the blue. Ew. <laughs> it just makes skin look so gross. I hate it. And I get why people use it. Like, I'm not hating on them for using it. Damn, I wish I had done that the whole time. That's sick. Have you ever seen that skit that Jimmy Fallon does on his show about the... Ew. <laughs> no, I don't. I haven't. He does this, like, five-minute skit on his show every once in a while with, like, a celebrity. And he'll play a, like, seven-year-old girl that's, like, kind of goofy and like talks weird and um has her friends over I and i have talks, seen something about this and he like talks like that and um him and his friend which is like whatever celebrity is there that day will like rate things and he'll be like okay what <laughs> and they'll, get, and they'll go <laughs> i don't know if this is a hot take and i don't know enough about jimmy fallon but i do think sometimes loki he is funny I think he's funny when he wants to be. <laughs> I think right. he's just la lazy most of the time. He's just fake laughing and just trying to get through the day. <laughs> it's gotta be exhausting. I mean, shit. It was made for I mean, my uncle's company that went went belly up a few years ago. Designed to be a money vault that could be the new facility used as an office for high security banks. Wait, that's like kind of oh. sick. That's sick. I mean, not sick that it went belly up, but it's sick in concept and it's sick that you now have access or you now have this thing like i would just be hanging out in there just to get away from people yeah that's cool just to get away from people <laughs> you know if jimmy fallon's an alcoholic 
I mean, I'm not surprised just because, again, that lifestyle is so exhausting. I just, I also, I mean, obviously we've had this conversation now a couple times about, like, she was inspired by the Jack Harlow thing, but, like, just people's expectations of how famous people have to carry themselves just because they're famous. They always have to be happy. They always have to be excited. They always have to be putting on the best show ever. And it's like, your dumbass and my dumbass doesn't show up to work every single day and do our best work every single day. That's the reality we live in. You know what I mean? So... The fact that people, like, will hate on any artist because they have, like, a bad set somewhere, I'm just like, dude, how many times have you had a bad day at your job? Probably every single one of them, so... She speaks truth. What can I say, brother? Uh, they don't call me the messiah for nothing. Yeah, you ever heard of Debbie X? <laughs> yeah, you ever heard of Jebby XD? She's kind of the next coming of Christ. <laughs> you okay? The, out the outer yeah, door is about two feet thick. The locking bolts are bigger than my fist. If you open the outer doors, there's a window made out of a type of super hard bulletproof glass. Like, I saw the guy who sold us the glass take a fucking pickaxe to it and swing it with everything he had. Didn't even scratch it. You're gonna be being chilling during the zombie apocalypse, or World War Three, or whatever comes next. You're gonna be big chilling. So, if the apocalypse does happen, can you shoot me your address so I can? Yeah, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, you know, just drop in the DM with the, where, where where that bunker might be at. I'll start making my way over there. It'll be like The Last of Us, Katie and I doing the best in our power to stay alive to get there. You won't even know I'm there. Yeah, we'll be so quiet. We'll do all the cooking and the cleaning. Oh, I cook. I'll cook. Katie cooks up. Katie does cook up, so you're in good hands. Gabby's been my sous chef before, not lying. Actually, we do work really great together. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot you're in fucking Sweden. Easy. We'll just take a boat, we'll grab a couple kayaks, and come on yeah. down. We'll get there. We'll bring Fahad. He's my other sous chef. <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll get Fahad, Daniel, we'll get the whole crew on the boat. Sorry we're raiding your bunker. My address is public on my website. <laughs> Alright, we'll be there. If As long as the internet doesn't go down, we'll be there. I'm not very good at directions, so if I don't got a GPS, I'm gonna die, but... I'm not good with directions either, but look. Give me a map, and we'll try. Give me a map, and we'll do our darned best. <laughs> I'm just picturing me actually trying, and it's... Oh, me and it's trying what? To, me trying to actually figure out a map like has me speechless. <laughs> Honestly, I can read a map. If I have a map, I'm chilling. But if I but if I don't get a map and I don't have a GPS, I'm gone, girl. I just like when I look at a map and it says you are here, I don't understand that. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, like huh? where what am does I? that mean? <laughs> How do I figure out where to, where I actually am? Like, it doesn't make sense to me when I see those. Like, especially even just at a mall when it says, you are here. I'm like, okay. I do have to take a second myself to, like, orient, you know? But honestly, another thing that makes me really mad. Photo Ali, are you an iPhone user? Are you an Android user? What kind of, what kind of GPS system are you working with? Because on Apple, every gosh darn time, I like I'm using it. It always starts me facing the opposite direction of where I actually am. Oh. And so I'm always like starting my directions the opposite way and then it's like turns around and I'm like cool. Great. I'm, I don't know why you thought I was facing the other way but you- Yeah it'll do that like spinny thing. Yeah and I'm like dog. Baby girl what is the situation? Oh you use Waze. Do you like Waze? Baby girl. <laughs> Is Android, what's Android GPS? Is it like Google? Google Maps? It forewarns me when there's cops. Apple does too now. Apple does too, <laughs> which is nice. Cause I, I'm a bit of a speeder myself. I don't do Apple, they get enough of my data as it is. I don't need them snooping my phone as well. Do you use other Apple products where they're pulling your data? I mean, at this point in my life, I just know everyone's pulling my data. So I just am like, well, 
I guess this is me now. <laughs> I like the way you say, well. <laughs> well. Have it, brother. I ain't got nothing to hide. You want to hack into my bank account? You're going to be kind of disappointed. I mean, you'll be happy for like a day. And then you're going to be like, all right. I speed, but I speed at a sink. Nothing. What, you know? what, like, what does that mean? Like, if the speed limit's 70, I'm going 85. <laughs> That's not that bad. She goes, you know, I speed like safe. If I speed, I'm tip if I speed, it's usually nine over because police usually won't pull you over unless you're going more than ten, unless they're like having a bad day and they're like, oh, you were going five miles per hour over the speed limit. This one time, bitch, listen to this shit. Actually, I got pulled over one time. Oh, I just thinking about it makes me mad. I was like, I'm based in Detroit. I was working out. I was designing a set for a live theater show about 40 minutes away from me. I was also the technical director. If you know anything about any of what that means, I had to be there every day to go build the shit too. And so I'm getting out there, I'm running late because I also had a full-time job. Well, it's only going like nine, 10 over, which is still like, it's against the law, I get it, whatever. <laughs> a little bit of rain, a little drizzle out, nothing crazy. And so obviously I get pulled over and he pull, I get pulled over and he's like, pops his head in and he's like, do you know why I pulled you over today? And I was like, I can only imagine it was because I was going nine over the speed limit. <laughs> like, I'm not, I am not a good, I'm not good at be playing like the cute sad girl to get out of tickets either because I'm always just so fucking annoyed when I get pulled over. So I was like, yeah, dude, I can imagine why you pulled me over. I can't think of literally any other reason besides the reason you pulled me over. So, and he, he sticks his head inside of my passenger car window. And he goes, you see these streets? And then he starts tapping his toe on the ground. He's like, you see this? This is wet pavement. It's raining. And I was like, are you serious? Are you really fucking right here telling me? You're really tapping your toe at me in my window. To tell me about the drizzle that I clearly do see existing. Oh my god, I don't know. This dude is grinding my gear. He's definitely gave me a ticket because I was not nice either, but... I was just like, dog, you don't need to make this a life lesson. You can see on my record I've gotten speeding tickets before. You're not going to change my mind. Just give me the ticket. It's, it's also not too, it's not that slippery out when it's raining. Well, it was, and it wasn't like raining. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it was like, like I mean, a drizzle. Like yeah, hate that motherfucker. Fuck that guy. Just kidding. I hope his life is doing well. I hope nothing's gone bad, but I was mad at him that day. <laughs> I don't have a single Apple product, but for but a lot of people around me do, so I ain't got no choice but to give a bit of my data. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure since you care about it a lot, you probably know a lot more than I do, but it's not like Android and Google ain't taking your data either. Everybody's got your data already. Probably. That's the part that is an unfortunate reality of the life we live. If you've been online for the last 10 years, your data is in the internet. Yeah, I don't care. I got nothing to hide. I don't have anything to hide. I just am like, I would rather people not be up in my shit. Personally. But. I don't think people care about me, so. <laughs> oh my god, I care about you. No, I mean like. I'll steal your data. On the internet. Will that make <laughs> you happy? Why is this like not? I figure my assigned FBI agent is bored with me. <laughs> That's how I feel. I'm like, I'm never doing anything interesting. Never selling drugs, you know, I'm never... Do, I'm never on the dark web. I'm just out here editing pretty pictures and listening to YouTube all day, every day. My FBI agent's got the popcorn listening to the true crime with me. He's like, damn, that shit is crazy. <laughs> That's my... My <laughs> But also impressed with my research skills and Loki wants to hire me. Honestly, one of my friends, this is a crazy story. I won't say her name because I don't want to like out who she is. But one of my friends in the sixth grade was doing a research project for school and she was doing her project on fingerprints. So she went online, she's got a bunch of fingerprints from like famous criminals to like put in her thing. She wrote all about it, whatever. 
She does her presentation. She goes to school, whatever. Everything's great. She comes home, and the FBI is at her door. And her mom's talking to the FBI. And so obviously she's like, what's going on? She's like a sixth grader. She's like, what's what's going on? And they were like, hey, somebody in this house um, was recently on like the FBI website and accessed some some like classified things. We're just curious like if it was you or if it was your mom or like whatever. And she was like, oh yeah, I, um, I just did a project on fingerprints and when I went on the website it was like this like little puzzle game I had to get through to get to like the fingerprints I wanted to download or whatever and they were like can you show us what you did to get them and she showed them again and like that she just she just hacked the FBI in sixth grade because <laughs> she wasn't supposed to have been able to get in there and get all these fingerprints of these fucking serial killers and stuff so how did she do the puzzle? Like it wasn't a puzzle. Like it was like whatever it was. Like whatever the log. It wasn't actually like a fun puzzle. It was like whatever the FBI was using to like keep people out of the website. That's crazy. And so yeah, and so they had her do it again, and they, obviously they then changed how to get into the website. But she's been like doing back end work for them ever since. And like do it, and <laughs> you know this person too, Katie, which is crazy. You know this person too. I oh my god, I know them. Yeah, but I just oh. I was like, that is the coolest story ever. Like, what? You were in sixth grade, and you're like, yeah, I, I hacked the FBI, and I've been working for them ever since. Like in what? Sixth grade. Right. That's like something out of a movie. Like, that's some genius like, behavior. Twelve year old. <laughs> right. They take the data, I let them. Everything that I don't want them to see is either encrypted locally or I go through VPNs. Like, I don't need ads for some of the bullshit I search. That's all there is to it. <laughs> that's so true. Sometimes I use a VPN, but sometimes it's just, like, be slowing my shit down. So I'm just like, honestly, bro, again, I'm not doing anything crazy. If somebody wants to steal my identity, they're going to do that with or without my data on the internet, probably. So I'm like, eh. I won't post my social security number online. That should keep me safe. <laughs> Side glances, Waffles Chris. Make me burp. <clears throat> waffles make you burp? Is that what you just said? Falafels, yeah. Oh, I thought you said waffles, and I was like, did you just eat waffles too? Uh, <laughs> girl, that would have been crazy. <laughs> I mean, shit, I actually got some waffles, and I'm thinking about making some now that you just said that. Sounds like a lot of carbs, sounds like a lot of gluten, sounds like a lot of bloating. <laughs> Perfect for me, that's exactly what I need. I need, bro. I'm excited to send them these photos. I'm like, I'm cutting back a lot on the ones I've chose to edit because I've already edited so many pictures. Jack Harlow's new album slaps. I'll die on this hill. <laughs> when did it come out? <laughs> Literally like June or something. <laughs> oh, same one. I just every once in a while one of his songs comes up on my like loop, and I'm like, yeah, this is a banger. <laughs> 500, 500 speed. VPNs don't slow me down at all. It's 50% spicy things I don't need showing up in recommended ads. Whenever I'm trying to show somebody a damn meme, and 50% I get ads for things I actually find useful, so I don't want to ruin that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know enough about computers and shit to make shit work nice. I've been- I just got my- like, I just got a PC two years ago, and so even now, I'm like still figuring things out. I bought it off of a friend who built it, and like, ever since I got this computer, I can't just like open an image on it. So I don't know if you have any recommendations on how to figure that out, but... There's just certain things about my my computer that just like don't work and I don't know why and I don't know enough about PCs and I have Googled them. I'm not like just a brainless idiot who doesn't try to solve my own problems. You're right. You're not a brainless idiot. Not a brainless idiot. I'm an idiot with a brain. <laughs> well, no. Yeah, just a little a silly little goose with a brain. Hey, I have three 50% off Uber Eats coupons and they expire tomorrow. Spicy. Damn.
send something to me. I know Chris yeah. out here using VPNs to make sure he's like, gotta make sure nobody sees what I be looking at in the night, keeping that search history clean as a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> My search history, my search history is so boring, but it, out of context, it would be very weird. <laughs> I always use like incognito and like private stuff, so my history doesn't show up anyway. But I feel like it would just be like just the most random ass shit, like just some random term I read somewhere on the internet. I was like, what does this mean? Coming in hot to let everyone know I found a new photo streamer editing Lorna, Lorna Shore and just did photos. Oh, so fun! I'll probably hop off in like 30 minutes, so I will definitely bring the party to them. At me on Discord and we'll schedule something to go over your PC and what we can do to make it work like it should. Brother, if you're for real, I'll fucking be there. Because if I can get my computer up to snuff, running great, I also am like, I, I could pay you for your time, also. But. I also need- I think I need to upgrade my graphics card because I've been working in Blender and like trying to make some animations and stuff and I think my graphics card is just not quite good enough for that. So I need to upgrade that shit too. Oh, I stopped by them but they were speaking French so I left. Oh, they're English too. Wee <laughs> wee. Oui, oui. I can start speaking French on stream if that'll oh, make oui, you guys oui. say. Wee oui, wee oui, baguette. I'm practicing my French, so it's good. I'm typing French and they're speaking English. That's awesome! You're practicing your French in the chat. That's great. I wish I could speak another language. You're currently editing a butt. What? I, uh, I shoot for a company that makes a lot of handmade, like, undergarments and things. And whenever I... I actually... So I used to stream editing live on TikTok. And I was editing photos for that company one time and TikTok like banned me from streaming for like three days because I was editing commercial photos. I was editing photos for like a brand, but they were in underwear. And so TikTok was like, oh, that won't do. But meanwhile, you have 14 year olds in like the most booty ass shorts on there shaking their ass. So whatever. This is the brand. This is the brand. So it was like photos like this. Like these were the photos I was editing and TikTok banned me for three days. And I'm like, I have seen so much more, I have seen so much worse on TikTok than this. I was just blown away. How to edit a butt, Chris is Google. <laughs> That's why he's got the VPN on. He's like, oh no, I don't want to get butt editing ads. I can't live like that. Oh, that's why it's so annoying. Because, like, why isn't this orange going away? It's because it's literally fucking popping off up here. Why don't I just realize? What's up? What's up, little mama? What'd you just realize? Tell me. Let him know. I don't know why I just realized this, but whenever someone brings up a random topic, I almost always have a story relating to the, the random feel, thing, and it's similar. always weird. I feel similar. I feel like, but also it's just like, because I have been trying to be a better, more entertaining at least, interesting streamer that I like kind of have put myself in the mindset of like, okay, when somebody says things, you get used to saying more things back because I'm, again, pretty introverted. So sometimes it's hard for me to be like, talking a lot. Before I started using VPNs, I get ads for sinful on my Facebook. Oh no, oh no. You'd be on Facebook showing your family something, you got sinful ads up there, rip. <laughs> A little bit more ed. A little bit more ed. Mm. Becca, what you working on? What you been working on this week? You got any shoots coming up this week? I keep talking to you directly because I want to know more about you. <laughs> I 
Why was I just waiting for her to like verbally speak? <laughs> I know. I was like, I kind of did for a second too, and I was like, wait, that's not how this works. I don't like that. I don't like. Where did your friend go? David, he's probably playing video games or some shit. Let's see. Let's see if he's online still. He left. A, I haven't heard his voice in like over an hour. Oh yeah, he left a while ago. This thing's on uh away on idle right now so he might have like walked away because the uk i think they're five hours ahead so he would be nine o'clock right now it makes it really tough the to game with them but when we do get together it's a really good time i'm back i'm back i'm back, I'm back. oh let's go david welcome back everybody's had a oh david God. how did he just come in like that uh i sent him a message on discord i said come back brother <laughs> Oh, I was like, how did he know? <laughs> he was listening to the stream. He's like, I'm back. What you been up to? What you doing, David? Hanging out? Vibing? Gaming? Um, I was just business. Oh, oh, you were conducting business. My mistake. How could I uh, think otherwise? Now you're good, you're good. Mm, do you work for the FBI, too? Um, <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. Becca needs to go do ICM photos soon. What's ICM? Am I crazy? Yeah, we're on ES we were on Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, so five hours. Oh yeah, cause you're you would you're five hours ahead then, right, too? David, you should start streaming. Me? Yeah. What should I stream though? Video games. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but like, what type of video game? Whatever games you like. You play so many games. You're really good at Fortnite. I haven't played in a month and a half. Like I any. Play a game the other day. Well. That's the start. Like, if we were saying that, it would be back then. I haven't played a month and a half. All I'm hearing is excuses. No, no, but I'm being for that. I haven't actually played. Oh, no. you're six hours ahead. Okay. We got homies in Sweden. David, you can hang out with them. You're a lot closer than I am. <laughs> Are you still editing? David doesn't seem interested. I literally am. <laughs> David's like, ha ha ha, yeah. <laughs> I've never heard David excited about anything, though. I can't lie. Yeah, yesterday, really. yesterday he did squeal playing a game, and I, I was, like, shocked because I've never heard oh his God. voice, the tone of his voice go below, like, a low G. <laughs> or go above a low G. So I'm like, oh, David, David has range. <laughs> David, do you have feelings? Oh, my God. Right. What? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Oh, my God. Maybe. Of course. Yeah, of course I have feelings. David's really nice. Yeah, he seems very nice. He's a good, respectable, respectful man from what I know of David. So I guess I can't hype him up too much. I don't know him that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cry when I watch just about All right, my friends. We're once again going to choose between four of an almost similar photo. Everybody Whoa. Drop. That last one. Wait. Isn't there like a way that I can like make a poll? I'm going to force you guys to like, figure out who this is. How do I do yes. that? Go back. I want to make a poll. How do I do it? <laughs> Flip that. Raid channel. Manage goals. Stream together. Sub only chat. Manage prediction. Here we go. Manage poll. Let's go. Create a new poll. This seems like a lot of work. I'm just going to ask you guys. <laughs> All right. We're pulling up this image first. This, this kind of shit is ICM. Oh, okay. Very cool. That would be sick to shoot, actually. Becca, you gotta get out there. Okay, so here's our four options. Okay, sorry, Katie. Are you looking at it? Yeah. And everyone else. David, if you want to help me out here, too. You have... It's kind of nice to get opinions from people who don't do photography stuff, just because I, you know, most people don't do photography stuff, so... Let me, let me have a look. Okay, so this is number... Let me, I guess I should start at number four. Or number one. This is number one, which I feel like... like add. You gotta add? Yeah. Bro, you're not sub? That's fucked up. <laughs> you got Amazon? Give me that Twitch Prime sub. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> you can. Oh, let's go. Hey, thanks, David. David no Silva. <laughs> thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it, brother. Okay, so this is number one. We got number two. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. actually just kind of different so number four i'll probably just edit anyway so. oh, I, I like all of them <clears throat> i like number one but i also like um i think out of these three i think that these i think this one's maybe the best out of these three because four i just realized is kind of different enough that i can just edit that and send it to him number i like that full body one I like this too one. I do like the full body one. I'm just thinking I have a lot of full bodies of him. And because this guitar, they only use like this special guitar with this like thing. I don't know what this is called, but like this is like a thing that guitar people think is really cool. This thing on his oh, finger. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll edit this one. I'm like, am I using the star filter too much? And then every single time, every single picture I like has the star filter, so whatever. I love the distortion on that one. Yeah, I like how the guitar looks really big. I like it. I like all of them. And that's not me, like, being... Blue to be gone. It's disgusting. Hmm. Thanks, David. I appreciate your input. Ew, I hate blue lights. They're just so ugly, bro. I'm like, I wish that Lightroom was better so I didn't have to take... Oh, wait. Is there a way to lessen the effect of that flare? Sorry, one second. I'm like, I've never played with this before. Oh, okay, so it's nothing. Um, there's not really any way to make this flare a little less, unfortunately. I mean, I can lower the highlights. But then he gets kind of dark, which I could also edit him separately. But I don't think that the- I don't think this pop of light looks very good if the center is not kind of bright. Then it just looks like this like messy kind of X in the bottom, but maybe I maybe that's just a me problem and it's like not reality. No, no, <laughs> for the professional, I'm just looking at. No, I'm curious. More people, more people like you look at pictures than people like me, David. So like your input to me is very valuable because you're a I don't want to say a regular person, but you're a regular person looking at photos. You're not a photographer being like, oh well, technically this, 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 and this. You know. I like it. Like, if I, I was like to look it. at this, for me, it would be like <laughs> one of them kind of... the accent, how your, your pitch got super high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a really cool perspective. I love the effect of the guitar with that lens. Maybe what I were you using? Uh, I, was, I only use my 24 to 70 when I shoot shows uh, for the most part. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's just called a slide. Okay. I was like, I definitely know, because the other band I was on tour with used a slide, too, in some of their music. I just didn't think it was that easy. I didn't think the word was that easy. Shit. Peace without ripping your fingers to shreds. Yeah, it, def it makes it a little bit more, from what I've heard and been told, it kind of just makes a little bit more of that metallic sound, because it's like plastic or glass or metal or whatever on the metal strings. It sounded great. It sounded awesome. Maybe, actually, let me just do this. Let me just do this just to see if maybe I like it a little better. I don't like the angle as much. I feel like my 24 to 70 doesn't distort as much as other people's. I don't, I don't know if I'm delusional or what. Hmm, I could do this one in black and white. That might solve my color problems, actually. Does it still hit in black and white, though? Google Foo confirms. Okay, I'll do that in a bit. I'm like, it makes me nervous. Who's Foo? Foo confirm. Kung Fu? I think, I, I think I'm just not on the same page. I think because I'm brainless, I'm confused. Google Foo confirms. I don't know what that means. Shit, I'm an idiot. Don't nothing, call yourself funny. I'm like, I'm like, there's nothing quite like the stream to remind me of all the things I don't know about in the world. It actually is kind of, it's kind of sick. I learn a lot from people when I stream. <laughs> hmm. This 
song goes crazy for being a Among Us parody rap song. But replace Kung with Google. Google Foo. Okay, so here's why I was confused. Because the way it was written, I just Googled Foo Confirms. But I just Googled Google Foo. And it says Google Foo, uncountable informal skill in search, in using search engines, especially Google, to quickly find useful information on the internet. I see. I am on the same page now. I'm logged on. That was a quick. That was a very quick Google search. I, I usually would Google it, I think. But when I'm on stream, I try not to like just be on my phone and be super distracted. But that's what I have people like you for. You do the googling and you educate me. I just keep thinking about having a snack. Is this not edited? Oh, it is a little bit. I was like, what? Why is there no? I love this. <laughs> what are, are you talking about your Google fooing? I, lo I love learning. I love learning that term. I'm gonna start saying that shit. My phone crashed. That was oh. fun. That's okay. I miss you. What am I, what am I doing? Where am I? My phone like... Bleh. What's your phone? Why is your phone being a silly goose? I don't know. Alright, we're gonna slap this bad boy. Let's just see. Let's just see if this makes us catastrophic. Show sure did. Yeah, I definitely don't want to do that orange. But I like this nice, like, warmth. I wish my guitar tech bro was not just, like, so fucking out here. My brother, I know you got a job, but tuck yourself into the back. I mean, like, obviously, I'm in the way sometimes, but I feel like I'm very aware. But my man's been on the- these guys have been on tour almost non-stop this entire year, so my man's probably like, I'm so fucking tired of this shit. <laughs> I did concert photography once, and me and my friend were there to shoot, and we weren't the main photographers, there was, like, one other main photographer with the, the band. And we literally, like, we went across the barrier, we, like, shook hands with the head of security, yada, yada, yada. Did, so all, the, they, did all the things you gotta do? Yeah. Uh, concert starts. Uh, my friend, Anthony. Yeah, maybe I will. I just don't feel like it right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my friend, Anthony, takes, like, a couple of steps out onto the stage. Everything's good. Everything's chill. Takes another step like quick little because he was doing video too he did like quick little like in and out and all of a sudden their main photographer fucking throws a fit like i'm talking like a five-year-old like well i mean wait i'm gonna back her. up i'm gonna back up for a second because i've been in these shoes why was your friend on stage we were taking the, we were there to do video he was there to do video i was there to do pictures Okay, I'm just curious. Yeah, I guess I'm just wondering, did you guys get like a triple A pass? I guess what venue, because it, typically if you're not the main photographer, you can't be on stage. So that's probably why the person was freaking out. Uh, it was the shelter in Detroit. Yeah, I could see, uh, low key, no offense to your friend or this story, but I could definitely see by somebody getting bitched at for being on stage, especially at the shelter. It's small as fuck. Well, I didn't finish. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm hearing you out. I'm just thinking, out of the, I'm just being devil's advocate as somebody who has had to freak the fuck out on people before because of them just thinking they can do whatever they want and then they can't. No, I, I knew why he was mad. And I told Anthony, I'm like, he's the main guy. Like, you, you can't get in his way. Like, you deliberately got, in, got up there knowing he was shooting right 
right there. Like, you, you can't do that. You're gonna get us kicked Oh, kicked my out. camera just, like, <laughs> turned off. And, um, um yeah. he, he, like, stomped over to the... He stomped um, over? Wait, is, stomp is the like, stomper guy your friend or the other guy? The main stomper. So he, he like, the, the main starboard, he stomps off stage, goes over to uh, the security guy, and is like, I want them gone. Both of them. And I was like, what can I do? I'm just back here, minding my business, staying out of the way. I'm literally the one who told Anthony to stay out of your way. Like, at least let me vibe. Like, I, I didn't even get, like, one good picture yet. The concert had barely been on one song. Yeah, I am, and, uh, um, I am using an M50. It's just like this, it's just a camera that I have for vlogging that I don't really take out with me. So I'm like, oh, why not use that for stream versus trying to use like something I can just leave up because if I, what makes streaming easy for me because it's already hard for me to wake up and like commit to doing it is like, I can just click a couple buttons and it's on. Sorry to interrupt you, Katie. So you got thrown out because of your friend too. Yeah. So the point of the story was not to be mad at the main photographer. It was to be mad at my friend for not listening and i also I didn't been. like the way i didn't like the way he stomped across this this small ass stage and made a scene in front of everybody like even the band yeah, while that's playing weird. Like, turned around and was like the fuck yeah see that's <laughs> that's the part that's not cool that's not cool but i had to do that i had to do that actually to a friend of mine on, on the road last year because i brought my friend really wanted to do video he really, really wanted to do video. It was the first show of their, like, headliner tour, and they did, we didn't have a video guy with us, so I was like, hey, my friend's in town, like, he wants to do this, whatever, and I was very specific with him, too, of, like, let's be cognizant of the space we're in, right? We have six people on stage, on a stage that's really small, so we can't be up in their shit, especially you. I'm a little different because I live here. But I can't have you up there with your big ass camera. Like you can't be getting in people's way. You have to be pay attention of like where, where you are with people behind you too, because you don't want to ruin their experience. Got on stage, got in the way, almost got almost got hit by one of the guitarists. Got screamed at by one of the people on stage, and then I yelled at him after the show and told him to leave and do not lie. Like I was just told, I was like, please just leave, just leave, because I got in trouble for it. He got. He didn't get in trouble because I didn't let anybody yell at him besides me. But yeah, I have been very much in that photographer's shoes. Actually, that I, that's that kind of stuff's happened to me a couple times. That happened again when they came back for their home show to end the tour. And people around here, Katie, I think because they're front, like they're part of that conglomerate of people that probably doesn't like me very much. The older crowd, you know, in this industry of the music yep, yep, stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, even at the show, even at the Dirty Honey show, I had a dude who was arguing with the security dude and me because I had the all access pass and could go on stage. And he was like, well, if she's going on stage, I always get to go on stage. And the security dude's like, you don't, if you don't have the pass, you don't fucking go on stage. What else do I have to tell you? <laughs> and then he got on stage anyway and then stopped me in the middle of the show to try to have a conversation. And I was like, dude. <laughs> Oh, why are you per like why are you pulling me aside to have a conversation with you when i'm clearly in the middle of something and it was like he just wanted to ask me oh aren't you the photographer for this band here's my business card i'm like he was like eh, here's my business card i would really love to do that stuff and i was like dude now is not the moment i would have been happy to talk to you at the end of this right but i don't know not the old, old people not, the, not the last time you were pulled aside by somebody <laughs> It will not. Bad vibe check. Right, exactly. I'm like, dude, I would have been so happy to check out your, your guitar pick business card with the QR code on the back 30 minutes from now. But now I'm not fucking looking at it. <laughs> I yeah. do feel bad, though. It's not that I, it's not that I don't want to help people. It's just like you have to be aware of like the right time, I feel like, to ask something of someone you don't know, right? Hey, here's my business card. I would love to work with the bands you work with. Let me know. It's like, I don't have, I don't, I don't even have control if they hire me. I don't have control who they hire. Oh, oops. Damn, yeah, that, kind of that photo photographer that we worked with that one day is still their main photographer. And I've oh, okay. heard from another person 
who knows him that is this other photographer dance? like a little bit older no he's super young he's just like mm. a cocky egotistical asshole like just everything yeah, that's about pretty much par for the course i think he just thinks he's cool because he's who he is and he's he's not even famous but he's definitely shooting for a famous fan but still like I don't know. I didn't like the way he spoke to us. I get why he was mad. I get it. But you didn't who have to- Who has bad to... vibes? Um, you, Katie you worked with a photographer who, at a show one time, the lead photographer with the tour, with the band on tour roasted the fuck out of her friend and her because her friend didn't follow directions and got on stage, basically. I tag the band, yeah, that's he... it. If I get to talk to the band, cool, but I'm not handing my card to their tour tag. Right! It's just like, or even so, like, when I was on tour, like, photographers would come up to me after the show, and I would be happy to have a conversation with them. Always. Always. But, like, you wouldn't go up to a forklift driver in the middle of a forklift drive and be like, here's my business card. You know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't do that to someone else in the middle of working. Or at least I wouldn't. <laughs> but maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But it's also a thing I've noticed with kind of communicating with other people, especially younger people who work with like bands and famous people, is that, and it, I, I do equate it to them being young, but they do have like an ego because they spend so much time around all these important people. But like, so what? You know, like, that's how I feel about it. So what? Yeah, I know people that are famous, and I hang out with famous people. But they're just people who other people happen to know more of than they know of me. They're still regular people. Gotta lurk a bit. Y'all are distracting is the best way. I need to do some stuff. Go work hard. Mute my ass. What is going on with my camera, bro? <laughs> Dog, what? Yo, why is your camera tweak? <laughs> I don't know. Quick technical difficulties here, folks. Don't mind me. If we're rubbing shoulders on the pit, it's a head nod. See who you're with and do the job. Yeah, exactly. Like, or hey, we'll chat later. Why did my camera? You brought up my M50 and now suddenly it stopped working. I did just do the classic turn it off and turn it back on again, and now it's just frozen on a screen. So that kind of worries me. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, David? I, uh, try to restart your stream. Well, I don't really want to do that if I don't have to, so. Yeah. Just because it's such a pain. What is going on with my camera, bro? Hey, thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Luis, that's awesome. Thanks for being here. Sorry my camera's not working right now. It just like crapped out on me. Unplug no, all no. parts of the camera for 10 seconds. You got it, King. I'm on it. Wow. Genius behavior. We'll be back. We'll be back for now. Hey, we'll chat between sets, but not while we're limited on time. Exactly, dude. Like, I don't know. I had somebody last year completely flap my cheeks about me not knowing and understanding how to do this job and not knowing the rules of the pit and all this shit but every time I'm in a goddamn pit none of these people are respectful I'm like what are you talking about? Okay, power going back into the camera yeah now that you mention it oh, my shit. friend uh, did try to talk to that photographer that night too he wouldn't talk to him Thanks, Photo Elite. You are literally the IT guy of the day. Absolute king shit. <laughs> IT Luis, guy of the day. Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here. And you came from YouTube. That's awesome. I just started doing multi-streaming semi-recently. Um, but I don't usually have a bunch of people come from YouTube, so that's great. That's awesome. Thanks for being here. Sorry, Katie, I cut you off because I wanted to be kind and say thank you actually with the camera on. I was done speaking. Oh. I just wanted to hear more of your said, voice, bro. All I said was. Standard um, MO. I did turn it on and off again. In my defense, I did turn it on and off again. I just didn't unplug it because I have it set up to like a, you know, a power source, a plug. It's not just camera batteries, so. 
I did turn it off, but I didn't think about like removing the power source from it. So I did try. Like, his face does look kind of goofy, doesn't it? I love when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you say brother, I love when you say brother. I'm still here, and I love when you say well. <laughs> time to start, start, time to start Google fooing if it doesn't work when you turn the power off. Oh shit, now I know. Cause my camera has done that before when it gets like glitchy and shit, but I was just, just like, well, I guess I'm just gonna stop streaming and that'll fix itself. David, how are your investments? Hmm. They are very, very, like, alright, I guess. <laughs> uh, you sounded like you were going to say they weren't doing so good, and you were like, they're very, very, alright, I guess. It's suspect. <laughs> Inter like, intermittent suspense. Are you fucking bankrolling? Are you the wolf of Wall Street? Who, me? Yeah, dude, who else? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I think there's a lot of photos that didn't... Oh, it is that time, 4.30. You're so good about it, too. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the first time I... <laughs> this is the first time I've posted on a Sunday in a long time. Normally I do, uh, 4.30 on... on Monday, but I have so much content right now, I'm doing... 4.30 on Sunday and 4.30 on Monday. Treat yourself clean. You know what's crazy? You know what's actually insane of me? I haven't posted at all about the music video coming out Friday. Uh, post about it? I'm gonna post it tomorrow. I'm gonna post it tomorrow just cause like weekends are not the greatest time to post anyway. So I'm like, okay, I'll post it tomorrow. I'll make some shit for it. Directed a music video. Came out Friday. I forgot. So I forgot to post anything about it. Yeah, I feel like Saturday, Fridays and Saturdays suck, but Sundays are a hit or, oh, excuse me, hit or miss. Baby. Mm, what's up? Uh, how is your thing you going though? Your pickup? It's going okay. It's, I'm definitely getting slow again for the winter. So just thinking about making money during our cold months. But it's been going good. I'm excited. I can't believe Christmas is in two weeks already. That makes me sick. I've got no one a present. Not one person in my life has a present. <laughs> Katie, you already let the people know. I was, uh, my group chat I was like, should we do a secret Santa where we all do like a thing? And there's like six of us in there, maybe five or six of us. And Katie's like, I just want to let you all know I won't be buying anyone anything for Christmas this year except for my boyfriend and my mother. Damn. And I was, and I was like, <laughs> hell yeah, Katie, let let. Let us know, man. I appreciate the honesty. It's a good way to save money. Yeah, that is true. Well, I didn't want you guys... I wanted your expectations to be there right away. I wanted you guys to know I did not want to spend any more money this year than I have to. I wanted your expectations to be there right away. You're like, I didn't want you to think that I could potentially be involved in this. I mean, I'd love to, but... I don't want to. <laughs> I feel you, brother. I'm just trying. I'm trying. Well, I'm trying to go on vacation. You are. You've been trying. You've been every day. You're like, don't forget vacation. And I'm like, damn, bro. Even if we, I don't fucking. I really. I mean, I'd love to go to Puerto Rico. I definitely want to go like somewhere tropical, islandy. But if we gotta go to fucking boring Florida or something down south, I don't care. I just. I would love to go boring. south, but I would hate to do. I would not want to do Florida. Florida's just so like, unless we went to Key West, I would do Key West, Florida. Oh, I, I was looking at Key West. They got some nice sands. Actually, you know what, Katie? I might have a hookup in Key West. I might have a hookup for us to stay in Key West for free. How? So this bed and breakfast bar I used to work at. So through high school in the summers and through college in the summers in my hometown, I'd work at this bed and breakfast and bar. I would housekeep in the morning and then I would serve or bartend at night. 
But the woman who owned it, her, who is now passed, rest in power, queen, her husband, or her fiance, I guess, technically, has a bunch of, like, restaurant stuff in Key West, and so they were always there. So I wonder if I would hit him up and I was like, hey. Or even if it was, like, cheaper, and I was like, hey, I want to go down here, like, do you think that you could, like... Or even if we, if we went there for, like, six days and we only stay there three, you know? Right, exactly. So yeah, if that's something we want to do, I could definitely hit him up. It might be weird. <laughs> hey, I, I haven't talked to you in a long time, and I definitely haven't talked to you since your fian your wife passed away, but just curious what your Key West situation's like. I mean, if you're comfortable with it, I would say wouldn't hurt to try. Right, that's what I'm thinking. Gotta crack down and get stuff <laughs> done. I hear you. Crack down, get it done. I will talk to you on Discord this week. Thank you for all your help on the stream, too. <laughs> all your technical help. You know my ass would definitely be texting them. Oh yeah. I'll shoot him a message. I don't know, I guess I don't know what he's got going on down there anymore either. Okay, Katie, I need your opinion again. David, Becca, oh, if you're in here, Rumple, we need, we need your opinion. I gotta come back on, hold on. This is like a really slight difference. It's actually only between two, so I'll just pull them both up. Okay, I'm watching. Okay, so. Are they different? Which one do we like better? Because this has this like yellow coming through. Ooh, right. But I think that his pose is like finished. It's like hit in this picture where he's like still kind of moving his arm down in this one. Not that anybody would tell the difference, but I'm just saying those are our two big differences is that we have more light here in this one. I heard I... my name. I'm trying to decide between these two photos which to edit because they're so similar. I like the left. This one with the light? Yeah, that's probably more interesting. Yeah. Okay. He looks like Modson from that angle. Who? Modson. Hmm. Modson's an artist. He is a former rapper, but he is now current, um, does like pop punk type stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I just edited the wrong one. He I recently paid Davro Levine. What'd you say, David? Mm -hmm. My bad. I said, um, I like both, but I personally can't really tell the difference. It just might just be me. <laughs> <laughs> I could honestly. It was really just the only difference was like some lighting back here, and then just how his arm is like a little bit not as far as it was in the other pic, but that's okay. Yeah, both are good though. So, yeah. I'm like, they'll just be happy to have some content. They don't have a content person with them right now because they prioritized the light designer, which I think was a huge dub for them, but. It just seems crazy to me to not prioritize content for anything like this in 2023. Like to me, if I was if I was somebody who was like in charge of like the budget for okay, how do we make a band be successful? Content person would be top of that list in 2023. Like that's the only way. That's the only way artists are successful now. Mm-hmm. I love how we overanalyze everything. And Dave is just like, yep, don't see a difference. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, though. Your presence is still real. important to me here. Just yeah, Rumble, I was asking for your opinion on a couple picks, but we blew past them. I also, I just want, like, I just want a band to hire me to, like, do all of their branding. Like, I'm going to dress you. I'm going to decide what you wear. I'm gonna take all the pictures. It's gonna look great. That's what I want. <laughs> Ooh, stylish. Cause these guys, I'm like, love your fits, but I think that, uh, you know, if you had somebody around that like, knew more about fashion, y'all would be dripped out. I mean, they look great for the show though, obviously. And again, they've been on tour for like, literally the last like, nine months straight. So I can only imagine that they're sick of getting dressed every day. Can't listen to this song on stream. Whew. Katie, what should I eat to eat from the house? Falafels. Do you really like falafels? <laughs> I know, they were just my food of the day. I do like a falafel. 
but <laughs> randomly when I was working with those video guys, they sent me out to a restaurant, right? And I was like doing like video TikTok con with content for this restaurant. And, um, what the fuck? And the guy was like, oh, I want to do like one of those TikToks where like, you know, somebody like throws something in my face. And so he decided on falafel, which I was like, I feel like he wants something that's like more like liquidy than that, right? <laughs> and the girl in the tic- Dude, the girl in the TikTok, she throws the falafel so hard at his face. And obviously it's a falafel, so it doesn't like explode. It just looks like she threw a softball at his eye. <laughs> Those things are heavy. <laughs> right. I was like, he's like, oh, that hurt. And I was like, I tried to tell you, bro. Like, we should be using hummus or something. Like, it'll splatter and it's not gonna like destroy your yeah. face. And hummus will come off your face so easily with water. right. You just wipe that shit off. <laughs> Why would you use falafel? What is that gonna do? I don't know. That's hilarious. Enough all night to research. Oh, well, you can hear that from my brain. I can just hear it a little bit. It wasn't like a lot or anything. You're good, dude. I thought I was hearing shit. I was like, where'd that? There was a time I was on Discord with Kelsey where I really think that the CIA was like cracking down. <laughs> That's funny. I also had another thought recently, and this is maybe not going to be woke of me, so if I got canceled, I guess it is what it is, but it kind of makes me feel ill that, like, the most popular female streamer is, like, a porn star. Who? <laughs> David's like, oh, who is it? What's her name? He said, call him out. <laughs> He's like, where can I find the videos? <laughs> As As Asmaranth or whatever? Bro, that girl. I mean, woman. Sorry, that woman is. <laughs> We're horny. Right. I guess that's. I mean, David's reaction says it all. That's her audience. But Amaranth, yeah, that one. That just kind of blows my mind. I'm like, I don't know. As a feminist, I'm all for sex workers and like do your shit. But as a society, the fact that the biggest, like, what the, one of the biggest female servers if not the biggest female streamer is a porn star like that does worry me a bit for this for the mental state of america you ever seen that movie uh the accuracy uh i don't know if i've seen it i definitely think that society is headed towards <laughs> what the people Idi are like idiocy <laughs> Oh my god, everyone's so stupid. In in the movie... Oh my god, he, everyone's so stupid. <laughs> and, and, and he, like, travels to the future, and they're like, we can't figure out, like, what's wrong with our crops. And it's, like, the dumbest thing ever. It was because they aren't using... They weren't using water. Like, they're literally that stupid. And we're rapidly moving toward idiocracy. <laughs> we are. We really rapidly. are. I if mean, including me, movie, shit. You know. I didn't even think about turning off my damn camera to get it to work. Idiocy is upon me, too. It's the stupidest movie in the world, but they were on to something. You know what movie really freaks me out? It probably freaks out everybody. The Truman Show. I've never mm. seen it. Really good, David. You probably would like it if you like if you like cinema. What's it about? It's about Jim Carrey. Um, basically, they... It's not about Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's the main character. <laughs> um, but basically, Jim Carrey's character like lives in a simulation where everyone on watches him on TV live his life, but he doesn't know that until you know. As I'm ruining the movie for you. And spoiler alert, everybody in the chat. Oops. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, he finds out that he's like living in a simulation. Yeah. I have to, I have and to. I think that's where everybody in in America's like Truman Show is really great. That's why everybody thinks we live in a simulation now. We practically do, though. I mean, yeah, we kind of do. Develop settings, taste and free. Close out. Did you, really bad. Did you see? Don't worry, darling. I did not. Um, okay, then I won't say anything else. <laughs> 
I mean, fuck it, ruin the movies. This is a spoiler stream today. I'm not talking to spoil anything, but I will say it's very similar to Truth Jill. Okay. Like, that makes sense. Not, not, not quite like that ending, but it's, it's, um, it's very similar. I feel like most of everybody's seen it by now. It's on Netflix, I believe. Like, I feel like most of everyone's seen it. I'm like, I've never heard about this in my life. But again, with, goldfish with memory the, haver. Remember the whole Olivia Wilde scandal with um, Harry Styles and all that? I got no fucking idea. Um, Harry Styles is in it. I was, few, I was uh, born yesterday, so. <laughs> I'm just a baby. <laughs> just a baby. Truman Channel came out in 1998. Wow, that was a hot minute ago. When did the movie that you're talking about come out, Katie? Like Netflix. this year or something. Oh, okay, so it's like actually like really new. It, it either came out this spring or last spring. But I didn't like it. I thought it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's how I felt about Five Nights at Freddy's, and then suddenly I see fucking IMDB giving it like an 8. No, I don't Idiocracy think came out in 2006. Oh, okay. I'll have to watch that movie. <laughs> funny. What'd you say? They gave it an 8. That's hilarious. I don't know if it's still that, but I just remember looking immediately after I watched this movie, I was like, I have to go look at what the reviews are, and it was like 20% on Rotten Tomatoes, and it had like a decent ratings, that's what I'm looking for. Um, it had like a decent IMDb score at the time of the release. Why does... I'm like, I know Photo Elite's not in here, but I have changed my fucking default browser to google 400 times and for some reason it keep it's on google chrome and it keeps using yahoo like who uses yahoo to search anything no one yeah i don't think anybody likes don't oh worry, thank darling. god like, thank god it went down imdb but we got an audience review five stars five nights of freddy's the iconic indie horror game that has captivated gamers for years has finally made its way to the big screen what a remarkable journey it has been this film is adaptation is nothing short of a cinematic experience, blending heart pounding. Okay, you're wrong, dude. Thirty percent on Rotten Tomatoes, five point five out of ten on IMDb, and thirty three percent on Metacritic. Finally, the reviews it deserves. Is it actually that good? No, it's bad. It's bad. Oh. That's why I'm like, thank God, people are finally recognizing it. It's not just me who's like, this is a bad movie. <laughs> I mean, who who went to watch that and thought it'd be riveting? <laughs> you know? I did. I thought it would at least be scary. Uh, I didn't think it'd be scary. Okay, I need to figure out what scary color lies for my face. I went into It Chapter 2 thinking I was going to be scared. I was not. The same guys that made Office Space made Idiocracy. Very interesting. Oh, I've, I've never seen Office Space. I need to, though. All right, my gamer, my streamers, I am so hungry that I'm going to stop this stream, but I appreciate you all hanging out with me all day. It's been a real pleasure. Thanks for being here. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for helping me with all the things all the time because I'm brainless. Katie and David will be on the, on the next one. Say bye to Katie and David. Love you guys. Hi, y'all. It was a pleasure. I had fun. Thank you for listening to me rant about past